man shout out to the chat man shout out to everybody tuning in man if you ain't smashed like already make sure you smash the fuck about that like button as we get up into this edition right here we're gonna take a look man we got a few things to get into to tell you the damn truth but one of the main damn things you know what i'm saying that we're gonna take a look at first and foremost is that situation you know we got a situation with sassy and we've been you know We've been sitting back watching, you know, the whole demonstration with Sass. You know, he said that, you know, he was going to be performing uh, with Young Wildin uh, and the rest of the guys, the mushroom hat, you know, wearing motherfucker shit. Like, he was supposed to be doing that. But he actually went. He actually went down that motherfucker. So we showed the progress, you know, of Sassy and, you know, Sassy being, you know, I guess with his new team or whatever, he gave us the idea initially that he was going to be a part of a new tribe. That's what he said. I don't think that that's what it's going to be. He might have even said that stuff just to build up the motherfucking views. I don't know. You never can tell with a motherfucker like Sassy anyway. And like I say, this that, this, that social media, you hear me? Motherfucker do anything, bro. And get out this motherfucker and say any damn thing, man. Just for the views and shit or whatever. You know me. Sometime I'm on this bitch. Sometime I'm not. And shout out to everybody that came through, you know, for one of the most iconic, exclusive, legendary motherfucking mixes. And the audio is on point. You already know what the fuck that it is. I've been working hard and I appreciate the hell up out of all of the support that I done got thus far, man, that shit really means a lot. I'm telling you, y'all, from the beginning, off the gate, I told myself I was going in, hey, hey, and I've been going all the way to fucking in. So, like I said, not only am I proud of myself, but, you know, being at this point right now, this comfortable point, got the audio crisp as a motherfucker, Got the mix, motherfucking mixing and everything, you feel me? So we definitely on deck. And like I say, once again, I appreciate the support, you know, for everybody that continues to come through. Even if you're not there for the live, check out the playback. You know, it may even be something, you know, that you into. You know, like I can say, I, I can't please every motherfucking body. You know what I'm saying? At least hit the thumbs up on that motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? Show DJ World, man, some love for real because... Hey, it's a, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of time and effort that I put forth to be able to do this motherfucking shit. But I feel good. And that's what I was saying, you know, like on the community wall. I was like, yeah, man, I'm lit, yo. I'm lit like a motherfucker. That shit make me feel good as hell, too, man. Just knowing that y'all be on deck with me, though, you feel me? Because not only are y'all, you know, charting the progress but y'all already saying, you know, how to guide the content, you know what I'm saying, how he get down out here on social media. I ain't nowhere near being the motherfucking best, nor do I claim to be the best. But one damn thing about it, boy, you got hey, you to get to me, boy. World is in his motherfucking bag out this motherfucker, you hear me? And I appreciate everybody, man, dropping the comments on the community wall. Like I say, man, the support is real. Like, straight up, man, you already know, man, I'm going to hold y'all down. Uh, whenever I got time, I definitely will be going to fuck in on the mix, okay, family? Yeah, yeah I mean, between all of this stuff, man, because I'm, I'm doing both. Oh, man, I'm going I'm to make an attempt to do both motherfucking jobs any damn way, you feel me? But, you know, like I say, when I be doing the mix, man, it's, it, it, it's great practice for me. Sometime I fuck up, sometime I don't. Man, it is what the fuck that it is. I ain't even worried about it, man. Like I say, man, practice made perfect. And I forgot a few times, you know, during the set or whatever, you know, with my transitions or whatnot to be able to, you know, raise the volume. But, you know, just chill. Just wait. Shit gonna get better. Trust and fucking believe me, man. Because now I can just go in when the fuck I want to go in. You know, I don't have to worry about speakers blasting at two and three in the motherfucking morning and shit or whatever. Oh, I'm at least like Jet Lee up out this motherfucker now. I'm like Jet Lee. Boy, you just don't know. And, and see, now I can get in more practice because it's done been times I done got up just up out of my sleep with the, oh, let me see. You know what I'm saying? I got to get goddess. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, she be having me in the pretzel in that motherfucker, you feel So, yo, once I slide up out of the pretzel, <laughs> let me go ahead and <laughs> let, me, let me touch it. Now I can touch it and go all the way to fuck in. And you already know that practice makes perfect, man. It is what the fuck that it is. And, you know, on another motherfucker know, I don't know how much practice that Elysio Bishop is getting right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much practice he getting to that, but he might, <laughs> he might be institutionalized already. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I, th I think he hit already, boy. Yeah, man, it, it, it don't take long. It don't take long for you to be all the way the fuck in. Just like the situation with him. Oh, yeah, trust and believe me, man. He was out here using the phone, going crazy. Goddamn eating wild jungle mangoes. That motherfucker B6 and like hell at this motherfucker. You can't B6 in that bitch. You B6 up in there, boy, you're going to have a bad day. Any sign of weakness whatsoever. <laughs> boy, they on your ass. Boy, they on your ass. You have, yeah, don't think they're going to make, you know what I'm saying, some exception for somebody like nature, boy. Oh, hell no. They, they, they ain't going to do that. Trust and believe me, they're not going to do that, man. He just, hey, he the average Joe, you know, out here. I guess he thought, you know, by him saying that he was the three guard and a whole bunch of other shit, I guess he thought that that was going to be some shit that was going to hold weight. But in that bitch, man, it is what it is. It's every man for himself in this land. They be gunning and keep them shit cool, right? like they supposed to. They come around, but they never come, my bad. I could see it inside your face, you feel And I already know, man, they, they already see it in 60 face. Get his whole body laced up, you feel <laughs> With bullet holes and such. But yet, man, look at him. I know, I know he fucked up, though, man. And his wives, they are even more fucked up in the game for even believing, you know, that some different stuff was going to happen. And we'll do a quick uh, progress report uh, and update on them as well. Uh, they have been somewhat silent, you know, after, you know, the, the groundbreaking, you know, begging video, because it was a groundbreaking begging video. OK, after that shit, yo, they turned into crickets. Where they at? We do have some assumptions. We do have assumptions on where if they are, which we're gonna be getting into. Okay. And, and, and if they ass ain't there, I don't see no reason why that damn TV would have been blasting nature boy ass in the background. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a little girl, you know what I'm talking about, right? The one that be dookie in that side. She be dookieing in the bag and taking it to the tree. She be emptying her pot. That's what we hold I believe that they ass is at. We think they on deck there. That what that where they hiding out at? Who they hiding from? I don't know. Why they ain't went home yet? I don't know. It really ain't my goddamn head. <laughs> Hey, I ain't do nothing but try to tell them the right shit. Now, they didn't take my advice. They, for whatever damn reason, I guess, you know, the ancestors or some shit told them <laughs> what to do. And they're continuing to be fully collectively supportive of the three God. If any of that bullshit makes sense with them supporting this weird ass, I don't even know what the fuck that's about. It's sad, man. My fuck ain't, my fuck ain't get on with their life, man. Nature boy got them throwed off, yo. Three guards, some serious, man. I'm talking about he and, and honestly, yo, he's ruined more people's lives than what the fuck that he done, you know, actually helped or increased or he's 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 destroyed people, you know, as opposed to. Uh, bettering them or leading them into a direction for them to better themselves. Only thing he did was, yeah, he gave them a he gave them a temporary he gave them them temporary statements that, as we see now, has you know developed into like a, a lifelong motherfucking lie. That's what the fuck that is. Been a goddamn lifelong fucking lie. You know what I'm saying from the sex code lady with his weird ass, but it's crazy. Because as long 
because what he was lying to their ass, you would have thought that it would at least been one person. You would have thought it would have been one person that would have been like, you know what? This shit ain't right and exact, aside from Yaya, because you know, Yaya is the person, you know what I'm saying? Once she found out about Nature Boy weird ass, she just was like, oh, hell no. She was like, what? Man, you Google this stuff. Man, what? Bruce Lipton, a white man, what the hell going on? She the one lost her motherfucking mind. That's motherfucker to this day. They might not keep it real. They might not keep it real, you know, and openly, you know what I'm saying, disclose that shit. I don't think they just go come right out and be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was a supporter of the sex cult leader and shit. Cause, you know, it was kind of embarrassing, you know, and, and I get it. Some of y'all listen to me now with your scared to type ass. Scared to type like a motherfucker because you were fucking with 60. Hey, don't lie about it. Don't lie about it because you was fucking with 60. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We all done did some crazy stuff, you know, in our past lives. Our younger years, we did crazy stuff. I just be tripping out how some of you old ass, dumb ass niggas was out here listening to Nature Boy taking your goddamn shoes off, going to ground, putting your feet in, in pissy ass, yeah, yeah, motherfucking pissy ass grass and shit, you out that motherfucking fear, listening to 60. Now, I want you to think about this. All of the stuff that Nature Boy allegedly taught, what the fuck is that going to do for any of them now? With the stuff that he was talking about, you think that's going to help them further getting employment or do you think that that's going to put them in a position, you know, where that they can make an easy transition into the work world? I think the fuck not. And I think the stuff that Nature Boy taught were all things that set their ass back. I think it was all things not only that misled the fuck up out of them, but gave them false expectations. They really thought that, you know, Elysio Bishop was the fucking messiah for whatever weird ass goddamn reason or whatever. And I think a lot of it had to do with people and I want to say their inexperience uh, within the knowledge itself. Because the same way like how you hear Nature Boy say the knowledge or his weird ass supporters say the knowledge. I always joked about what the fuck is the knowledge? Because see, Clarence 13X, the father you know, of the nation of gods and earth, you know, he was one of the main people that brought forth that manifestation. And it's like every time I hear them say the knowledge, I'm like, the, I ain't no fucking knowledge other than the knowledge of self. And if you over 35 to 40 years old, you've heard about the 5% nation with the 5% nation taught. Uh, as well as upliftment classes you, that were designed for individuals coming from the street in order to get themselves into what was considered back then as being the right state of fucking mind. Straight up. That's what it was about. That's why when I heard him and them saying the knowledge, I'm like, what fucking knowledge are you talking about? other than the knowledge itself. But as I said before, you know, by people, you know what I'm saying, being young as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, that probably was some real shit. That probably was some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they probably was feeling that. You know what I'm saying? It was new. Uh, I'm pretty sure their eyes were open. Yeah, shit, at this point, I can even say they got their nose was open to tell you the truth. Just from hearing that bullshit, that regurgitated shit, from a medley, from a collection of several different videos that this dude himself made it seem as if he was the author and the originator of these teachers, but it was only somewhat of a mashup compilation of other people's information. That's all the fuck that it was. But he wanted people to praise him as if he newly discovered the information, as if he uh, was the one that stumbled upon being the Messiah. And it was prophesized for him to lead a group of people allegedly that stayed in the jungle, but resided in a goddamn Airbnb. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, what is shit crazy? 
the shit crazy. But the everlasting effects, you can see it but from nature, boy, in solar weird ass, and the woman that we're gonna be getting into. And I'm gonna see on whether or not, you know what I'm saying, if I could tap in with the brother, he hit me up a little earlier today. Let me make sure that he's still on deck, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he done got wrapped up or, or busy or whatnot. He'll probably tap in with me in a little bit. Yeah, because he reached out to me, you know, he was the main person that was like, yo, let me put you up, put you up on game, so to say. But I will say this too. We've been watching this situation now. We've been watching this shit, man, probably for about like two weeks. Two weeks in total. Just checking out her moves, they moves, what they got going on, etc. And it's done been some shit. It's done been some fucking shit. Do you hear me? This the, the whole man. Good crazy. I just been tripping off of it, man. Like I say, man, the dookie in the bag, the dookie in the bag just threw me all the way the fuck off. I'm I'm not even gonna fucking hold you. The dookie in the bag destroyed me. And I'm talking about the woman who we believe that the, at the four flunkies, the, the, the spot where they're residing at, along with jujitsu weird ass. Yeah, him and the goddamn blue light, the goddamn green light. We thinking that's where the hell that they posted up over old girl career. Now, listening to her talk, man, look here. She a goddamn carbonation motherfucking robot. She's a whole fucking rope. Do you hear me? When, when I listen to her talk, I be like, yeah, boy. She, 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 she was supposed to be in goddamn carbonation. You hear me? At least she wanted to be in that motherfucker anyway, boy. But the way she be talking, boy, I'm just like, what in the entire fuck is going on? It's like when I listen to her speak, I get dumb about a fucking sex. That's why I'm, I'm curious to know from anybody who ever considered Nature Boy's information as being concrete, as being legit, as being self-enriching, etc. Man, what the fuck did you learn? Did you learn how not to get a goddamn life sentence plus 10 years on the goddamn back end from that no chance of parole? Shit, man. You ain't learned that shit yet. You ain't been paying the fucking You ain't been paying attention at all. You just been bullshit. It's either you've been bullshitting or your ass wanted to simply be entertained. I'm so fucking serious. Your ass wanted to be motherfucking entertained at this motherfucker. Because ain't no way in the hell you're going to tell me that there was anything concrete, anything that was legit that there was anything beneficial for that matter that you learned from nature boy motherfucking ass i think some of y'all might y'all must have been up under some level or type of hallucinogenic influence or some shit man if you saying that you learned some shit from nature boy man it is no fucking way it is no way oh and we will do that update too on that motherfucking go fund me too man yeah, I, I ain't gonna forget. When I seen this crooked ass mouth sitting right there and shit, yeah, that picture of crooked ass mouth, I thought about that damn raggedy ass fucking GoFundMe. Then that GoFundMe that ain't GoFunding. <laughs> that GoFundMe ain't GoFunding. You hear me? <laughs> that motherfucker, that's a no funding. That's what that is, goddamn. Motherfucker, I ain't even have to stop the funding on this motherfucking GoFundMe. You hear me? Because I'm pretty sure, just like myself, People already came to that realization that they were not going to be able to raise that money. I don't give a fuck how many goddamn bean burritos they ass eat. They ain't getting no goddamn superpowers from no mangoes or none of that shit. I'm here to fucking tell you, man. Just wake the fuck up. Like, straight up. And like I say, we will touch on, you know, a few aspects. And like I say, man, shout out to Velvet, man, for real. Just for continuing to be a whole live G out here doing what it do, holding down the children. That's what's up right there. Continue to stay positive. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. Stay focused, okay? Don't don't allow for any one of these clowns out here with this continuous rhetoric, this bullshit-ass jungle jargon that we continue to hear these motherfuckers talk about. 
do not allow for that stuff to affect you in any way, shape, or form. Now that we clear on that shit, cause we, man, I, I know it's a few of y'all that's still out there thinking about nature, but like JC, I, I know y'all sick. I know y'all miss seeing him with his shirt off and shit. All I can tell any one of you clowns, scrape the fuck up, is go visit his ass. That's what you need to goddamn go do. Yeah, yeah, take a large chunk of time out your day and devote it solely to nature boy motherfucking ass. Yeah, 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 go right on down there. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go visit him and shit and let him know that everything gonna be all right. Because the reality of the motherfucking situation is that it's gonna have to goddamn be all right. You feel me? Shit, motherfucker ain't got no damn choice right now, but they accept it for what the fuck that it is. You hear me? Update with the update with the update with the motherfucking update. Do you see this motherfucking shit right here? Damn, they done raised a motherfucking thousands and some goddamn dollars at this motherfucker. Y'all are damn near like 9,900 more motherfucking dollars to go and shit. And as we thought in the beginning, and I believe this shit now, that motherfucking GoFundMe is for they ass. I don't give a fuck what the hell that they got to say. That GoFundMe is for them. Ain't no $13,000 getting no motherfucking appeal or turn any goddamn way. You feel me? So y'all can tell that shit to somebody else. You can tell some slow motherfucker that shit. You hear me? Hey, but they got to eat, though, you feel me? I mean, Nature Boy ain't leaving with nothing, man. So, you know, they got they got to eat out this motherfucker, man. So by all motherfucking means, man, they going to have to do what it do. And it's crazy, man, because this fake-ass name, this motherfucking Cheryl Walker-ass woman right here. Look, Cheryl, look, Cheryl Walker dropped $1,230 on that motherfucker. Look at that. 19 hours ago, Cheryl is smashing the motherfucking three God supporters. Y'all niggas ain't really with that green hard shit. Y'all niggas ain't dropping no thousand dollars like Cheryl dropping. And to be honest with y'all, I think Cheryl Walker is a fake ass name. I think it's a pseudo name. I think these motherfuckers really do got a little bit of money left, but they playing that shit. They finagling that motherfucking shit. Ain't nobody sending no goddamn thousand dollars to help Nature Boy ass out. I think the same way they was doing on Bigo, this is the same fucking formula. And the formula on Bigo was that Nature Boy, just like the Brandon Keys do, he was the goddamn originator of this shit. Man, that nigga wasn't doing nothing but sending money to other people and having those people to send gifts to him. That's all the fuck that he was doing. To make it seem like his live stream was really fucking pop. Man, it ain't one motherfucker on the internet gonna tell you that they fuck with Brandon. They ain't gonna, ain't not one motherfucker out here gonna be like, oh yeah, I watch that channel every day. That's a garbage ass channel. And he a bullshit ass, fake ass, gerbil in the face looking wannabe trapper and shit out this motherfucker, man. That nigga ain't no motherfucker content creator, man. Scrape the hell up. And like I said, as far as this fake-ass Cheryl Walker-ass shit, man, I'm not going for that at all. But that it would be, you know, the official motherfucking update, you know, with the four flunkies. And once again, Zocane is not on the fucking picture. And I noticed, too, man, since she done been out, boy, she been looking like a whole lot of motherfucking zombie. I don't know what the fuck happened to Zocane when her ass was up in that DeKalb County jail. I don't know if a motherfucker slip something in her goddamn grits or what. But whatever the hell happened to her motherfucking ass, she back being a walking dead zombie. She ain't quoting three God scriptures and shit no damn more. She just sitting there looking crazy, looking like Usher at this motherfucker. You, these are my confessions. Him and P. Diddy type shit or whatever. Yeah, man, they fucked up the whole squad out here. It's fucked up, y'all. You hear me? All of them fucked up while Ziggly Pop motherfucking Junior, he, shit, he done been living it up. He living it up. Who knows on whether or not, you know, if his three-day stay is up in Florida. But, yeah, he, hey, man, look at him, man. He was doing it big, man, at the concert and the whole nine. Man, it was a whole bunch of weirdo motherfuckers at the concert. And and I'm thinking, shit, from, you know, just a little post and shit, just this little moment in the video, 
Shit, I think Sassy might have, I think he might have cuffed some cheeks. It's a strong motherfucking possibility because that's the same damn girl when his ass was in Mexico and stuff that, yeah, when when, when he was leaving away from old boy and stuff, yeah, yeah old, old boy that put his ass out and shit. <laughs> yeah, remember when he was talking all that shit in front of the hotel and the whole damn nine? And this girl right here, she was talking to him and stuff before he left. He was looking all sad in the whole fucking night. Shit, she done pulled the fuck up all the way in Florida, all motherfucking sassy. You hear me? That's how you know she she weird as a motherfucker too, hanging with these weirdos with this reject ass music. I swear to God, it's something like a trail mix. What? Yeah. Put it going ahead and rock this shit. If y'all eating me, y'all that's a chocolate place. trip. I think it's good out here. Go and it's throw good. it in your mix though. Got the raisins I like when I'm blazing. I spit flows. Right. Gotta go ahead and do it when I rock, bro. I be good for your brain like walnuts. Doesn't matter how you do it, I be rocking. Y'all can put the almonds and I get it popping. Let's grow, baby. Since I've been here, I think. What's my time like? Are we good? All right, let's do a couple more. What I want to do on this next one? Hold up, hold up on the beat a second. Hold up on the beat a second. I want to, I want to get three people involved. So, can three people step up that want to be involved in this next rap? Step up here on the magic carpet. Up on the Aladdin's magic carpet. Yeah, look at my cuz right there. What he think? That's that same little dude. That was chilling with Sassy and stuff. He ain't hugged up with Shorty. I don't know if he tried to smash or not. You know what I'm saying? I I don't, I don't motherfucking know. But yeah, that 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 that's little cousin shit or whatever. That was talking about follow his motherfucking Instagram page and shit. I'm like, nigga, man, we ain't following your motherfucking Instagram, nigga. Um, I wanna I wanna get three people involved. <laughs> so can three people step up that wanna be involved in this next rap? Step up here on the magic carpet. Up on the Aladdin's magic carpet. You want to be a part of this next rap? Here's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna do a about what inspires you. This sound healing. I'm gonna need y'all names, brothers. I'm gonna need y'all's names after you've done dapping each other up and showing some love. Who do we got? Zephyr. Z e p h y r. We got Zephyr up in the spot. What about you? Lou. Man, they made it seem like this shit was gonna be lit, yo. All right, we got Zephyr, we got Lou. Jean Ray. Jean Ray. Oh, shout out to our volunteers, yo. <laughs> I see you, Lou. We got Zephyr, Lou, and Jean Ray. Those are beautiful names. So here's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna do a co creative collaborative experience about what inspires you. So I'm gonna ask you what inspires you the most, and I'm gonna have you tell me a little bit about it. And we're gonna make a song. The first person gonna be the first verse, second, second verse, third, third verse. We're gonna make a hook that ties it all together. It's gonna be beautiful. Zephyr, what inspires you? It's gonna be beautiful. Mushrooms. Mushrooms inspired Zephyr, y'all. Check out the back of the. Hi, damn. Yo, they got fairies and all type of shit out that motherfucker. And then cuz talking about. The, the 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 say something that it inspired a motherfucker whatever look they got the artwork out there and everything you hear me? boy they ain't playing out this motherfucker yo the first verse second second verse third third verse we're gonna make a hook that ties it all together it's gonna be beautiful zephyr what inspires you it's gonna be beautiful mushrooms mushrooms inspired zephyr y'all check out the back of the hoodie it's too easy for the family. I'm thinking little dude and shit, man. I'm 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 thinking little I'm thinking little buddy, man. He just he just like a tag along type of shit or whatever. Like he just he wanted to be down with you know them dudes, the mushroom hat dude, the androgynous female Baphomet looking dude, the Keefy dude. You feel? Me? Yeah, man. Them dudes is tag alongs, man. They like extras within all this shit. Mushrooms. Mushrooms inspired Zephyr, y'all. Check out the back of the hoodie. Man, you make it too easy. For I'll be going crazy over the mushrooms and shit. After all, all, after all that weird shit happened with Pharaoh, man, the motherfucker shouldn't even think about no damn mushroom if they done been on the internet. If a mushroom will fuck your life up like that, nigga. I don't even want no recollection of Super Mario Brothers. You hear me? <laughs> Lou, what inspires you? Igniting. What is it? Igniting? Can you explain what igniting means to you? Igniting. Like a, I like that. Like a pilot. Activating. Like a pilot. So you, you be an igniter out here. You activating. My God, I feel that, Lou. What about, 
Jean Ray? Oh, I love that name, my brother. Tell me what inspires you. Okay, John Ray's inspired by nature. So Zephyr's inspired by mushrooms. Lou is inspired by igniting other people. And Jean Lou is inspired by nature. Crazy, but this is it. This is the hype. This is all of the stuff. You know, all of the you know shit that Sassy was saying he was hyped up about in the whole damn night for whatever reason I don't know. But this is it. This is the event. You know, the performers are in fact there. I'm thinking that they do have you know mushroom influence and shit. Let's go drop that beat. Once again, shout out to Con. What the fuck? Hey, talking about some motherfucking Congo. Niggas say shout out, shout, shout out to Congo again. So they holding that. Hey, look, they putting it down for Congo. Mushrooms. Huh? Lou is inspired by oh igniting other people. Like and Jean Lou is inspired by nature. Ready Let's go and drop that beat. If you ain't smashed like already, man, make sure that you smash the fuck up out that like button. Man, we just checking out this weird ass cult affiliated, cult oriented, so called supposed to be tribe down in Florida, somewhere called Homestead, which I never heard of before and shit. But yeah, that's where they at in Homestead. Once again, shout out to Congo on the ones and twos. Hey. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Congo on the motherfucking ones and twos at that motherfucking Illuminati. And Jean going out through your body like a 12 gauge shot it. Feel me. Jean Lewis inspired by nature. Not ready Let's go and drop that beat. <laughs> Once again, shout out to Congo on the ones and twos. Hey. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Illuminati Congo on the ones and twos. Y'all see him up there, you know what to do. I gotta tag these guys. I'm gonna tag him after this. I'll tag him after this. Yeah, well, I like. I gotta like tell you these guys and stuff. Like I'm like broke as a motherfucker, but you know I'm still gonna get the bag. I'm still gonna get the bag. Yes, I got to get the bag, but I'm tagging everybody. This be y'all feeling this one? Yeah. I'm okay. fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't fucking with none of that shit. Whoever made that shit on Fruity Loops, man, they need to throw their whole goddamn computer away. Pick your goddamn laptop up and slam that bitch down on the ground. That is trash. Y'all ready? This is all. Man, hell no, we ain't ready. Pull out the dome, make some noise, y'all. Woo! Fun God? Yeah. Now when I say fun God, y'all say. Did you see Cuz what he was doing? You ain't see that nigga wiggling right there. Watch this shit. I'm fucking with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Y'all ready? Look with them little pink hoochie daddies on. Look. Hey, this is all out the dome. Make some noise, y'all. Woo! Fun guy? Yeah. Now when I say fun guy, y'all say flows. Fun guy. Flows. Fun guy. Flows. When I say magi, y'all say true. Solo out there saying that them. Man, Solo is a whole lot of motherfucking follower, man. That nigga, that nigga's a follower, man. Scrape the fuck up, yo. Tribe, Magi. Tribe, Magi. Tribe. Huh? Gonna get up there now y'all know that our dreams are gone. What the fuck, man? Are you fucking serious? These motherfuckers out this bitch like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Look, they done bitch. They got shit connected to the trees and everything. Got this motherfucker, man. You see this shit? Like, no, I swear that he been foraging. Hey. Yeah, you know he got the shrooms. It's all goody. You can see him rapping on the back of his honey. You know I'm never scared of ya. Brother came through representing my hat. He got the I'm gonna need a mysteria. Oh, y'all know that we go ahead back into the woods. We gon' go ahead and troll up in your neighborhood. You ain't really got no rhythm the way that you be rapping. Man, you is shit off. Man, that shit is dumb. as That shit is shit dumb. It ain't even, it's shit dumb. It's shit mixed with being dumb. That slow paced ass, weird ass, hooked on phonics ass rapping and shit, man. But he done got the reishi in the chaga when it come to shit. Man, throw that motherfucking microphone as far as the fuck as your damn arm spin. Man, just throw that motherfucker, man. Throw that, throw us, man. Pick the microphone up, man. Throw that bit, th a whole sparrow. Throw a sparrow 
into one of them weird motherfuckers' chests out there and shit, like straight up. Shrooms, yo, Zephyr, be the father. He Everything is about a damn mushroom. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you see what the connection and the attraction is with Solar. He be out there breaking through the veil with the vibe. Plus, he gave me a microdose of psilocybin. <laughs> couldn't do it by myself. Uh. Of course, I needed help from an owl. Yeah. Hey. Well, I'ma make your dreams come true. Young Zephyr, he inspired by the mushrooms. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we a player. Swear to God, yo, John inspired by the nature. So, look, he inspired by the nature. That's crazy, man. That's that 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 shit is crazy. Now the shit that he talking about, psilocybin or psilocybin, or however the fuck he said that motherfucking shit. Yeah, it just so happened to be a naturally occurring psychedelic pro drug compound produced more, produced by more than two hundred species of fungi. Two hundred goddamn species, and look at Sassy with his weird ass. Look, look at this weird ass standing right there with little funny cause they know both they ass broke, both both of them broke. Them niggas ain't even getting out from Walmart up the goddamn street where they at. You hear me? And you know we got they ass on deck, all fucking ready. You hear me? Yeah, the psychedelic drug dudes, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we make it come true. Zephyr, he inspired by the mushrooms. Yo, Lou, he inspired by the activation. And John inspired by this whole creation. Now let's go ahead and get that later. You know my brother Lou, swear to God, he's in the Kaida. Yo, he can reach out and touch you like captivation. Soon as his hand places, that's an activation. Yeah, you know we going deeper in the flow. Yo, he's inspired by eye gazing. Yeah, I'm saying if you look into his... Oh, this is some garbage ass shit. Eyes, he really feel the light. It was kind of like that bufo that he did last night. He was in another plane. My brother broke through. He was like, there ain't a barrier I couldn't go through. And every time we out here, my brother's getting excited. Because you know my homie Lou, he gon' really get you ignited. Hey. Should, we bring, should we bring the beat back to finish it? Right. Should we finish this one off? Y'all make some noise if you feel it. Get your dumb ass up off the stage, man. It was finished when you first fucking started. Trust and believe me, man. I done heard some white dudes that can rap. And this white dude can't rap. This white dude is full of shit. And he got damn fun guy. Alright, we gonna switch up the beat. No, go ahead, keep that one, keep that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is what happens when we freestyle in the moment with no set. We don't have no times, everything's just improvised. So we vibing. Yeah, you know I gotta come through. Homie Zephyr, he inspired by the mushroom. Yo, we got the fire, Lewis in the night, and from my brother Jean. By nature, that's exciting. Yeah, I just wanna tell you that I love you. Do you see the dude up there pop locking, yo? Man, that nigga pop locking like Aaron at this bitch. Look. The mushroom. Get up, man. He gonna get inspired by the mushroom. You see Gus sitting down right? He gonna get inspired by the mushroom. Yo, we got the fire. Lewis in the night. And for my brother Jean. By nature, that's exciting. Yeah, I just want to tell you that I love you. Young Zephyr. By being an igniter. Shit. Now, this is for my homie with the fire. Let's get it, my brother John. Look like John Claude. About to go and do it off the top, homie. Watch. He inspired by the trees, the leaves, the bees. He's inspired by all the manifestations of God. He's inspired by you and inspired by me. He's inspired by the mushrooms that you know my homie eats. Whatever be natural. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Like when he stepped off and shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they are going on with that. Fired by the trees, the leaves, the bees. 
Paul, he's inspired by all the manifestations of God. Uh, he's inspired by you and inspired by me. He's inspired by the mushrooms that you know my homie needs. Oh, this is a whole lot of drug exchange right here. Uh, well, that would be natural. He's inspired by his mom's cancer, bro. He ain't, he, he ain't running the Congo crib, is he? <laughs> that nigga running like he got a hot dog stuck in his cheeks. It's fun, guy. I'm gonna tell you that I love you. My got the motherfucking tent. My homies effing. Man, them niggas got the tent on stage, man. They go to Baphomet, dude. And look at Congo. <laughs> look at Congo in that motherfucker, man. Congo. Congo. Oh, with that thing. Look at Congo on the ones and two. Definitely, he inspired by the mushrooms. Lou, yo, he's ex. They he got a whole mixer. Fired by and y'all playing some bullshit. Yeah, you know that John's inspired by. Is that a CDJ? Nature, it's so. Yeah, they got a whole lot of CDJ on it. Man, that look like a seven. Them niggas got a seven out there. They got a seven. What the fuck? Oh no, that's a big J. I see him. Congo got the big J. They got some bullshit ass beats on there though. So excited. Oh, they go mushroom head cut right there. Fuck, I wanna tell you that I love I think she like a fairy or some dumb ass shit. I don't she a she a fairy mixed with goddamn Malibu Barbie mixed with a unicorn and shit. Love you, young Zephyr, he inspired by the mushroom. Ain't no way in the hell. That girl in the white pants right there. What the fuck is she doing? Yo, Louie and Igniter, and John is inspired by the sacred fire. Let's go, baby! That's how we do it! It was lit, man. That, that shit was lit. <laughs> that nigga look like some... <laughs> man, that dude look like somebody aunt, man. Somebody aunt and shit, man. <laughs> she be trying to be cool and shit out of time. <laughs> oh shit yo man this this dude pop locking this shit man this pop locking shit got me fucked up what the fuck is going on man nah, nah, nah. y'all feeling it Y'all, y'all. We got one more for y'all. Can I hear y'all get loud one time? Make some noise. Hey. Real hip hop outside, baby. We outside. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right, let's pause that beat for a second. That's 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 not real hip hop. Okay. That's real hot garbage. That is real hot garbage. Look at Sassy with the black T-shirt up under. Yeah, the white pants with the white damn denim jacket and shit. Um, <laughs> so here's what I've done so far for all y'all that I missed. I took some topics. I took some props. And Man, then, fuck them props and topics, dude. And we even took some homies and their inspiration. Does anybody have an idea for what I phones. could do for this last <laughs> rap? Since this is a collaborative experience, anybody have? Collaborative experience and shit. That's what this is. And look at her. She got the goddamn elf. It. Man, I told you. I told you that, man. She, man, she like a goddamn Keebler elf. <laughs> she a Keebler elf. That nigga. And he done stole a Mario Brother mushroom. And put it on that damn head, bro. This shit straight up out of some anime. The goddamn cartoon. Network USA and all that stuff. It is a bunch of characters at this damn event. Oh, it's a bunch of them, yo. Like, what? Are you fucking serious right now, man? 
I'm like, that looked like, and I ain't even gonna hold you. I think I might have seen one of these costumes around Halloween. I think it was the Aladdin jump for the woman. I don't know the woman name and shit on the lad, but yeah, that's that that's how it was look. She might have got that shit. She might have got it from Wally. If not, some damn costume store and shit or yeah, they want to be so connected and grounded. Yeah, they want to be so connected to the earth that it's weird, Joe. But hell, it's better off that they dumbass stay out there in the goddamn woods, out there in the marshes and shit. They're going to be out there, motherfucker, high off the mushrooms. And a goddamn crocodile going to be done just chomped all they stupid ass. Be done took a goddamn big ass chunk up out their motherfucking leg. You hear me? Fucking around and then playing. Man, that shit ain't, man, it ain't safe out there. Hell no. And that shit he was talking about, that shit ain't even FDA. Man, that shit ain't approved, man. Food, drug, man, man, that shit ain't, man, hell no. All these people connected together or people you can tell they got an overindulgence with the motherfucking mushrooms. Hey, last thing. Uh, me and Nathan need a ride to the airport, Miami, like 2, 2.30 a.m., okay? So if y'all want to help... Oh, 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 him and Nathan. They need they, they they needed a ride to the airport. See, people was dipping. They was, they was getting ready to dip out. So that's the whole deal right there. Solo, I don't know where he going to dip to. I hope he don't think he going to be able to stay in the woods and stuff in the tent. Because Congo ain't going for that. I ain't even seen Congo take no damn picture with him and shit. Congo ain't, let me tell you, Congo ain't fucking with Sassy. I want to help them home. He ain't fucking with Sassy. Now, you know I mean? Sassy, you need to be thinking about where you're going to stay at. We got to go with Whip, too, I think. Big shouts out to Fun Guy. That was insane. Clearly, he is a legend. And, you know, obviously, he went to 50 on the street. There's no uh, comparing to the fucking consistency and devotion, dedication. Like, there's so many people here that have their craft. They have mastery. They have mastery. And this guy right here is like, 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 we get all kinds of love. Enough. If if it was like that, and if they had some bread, man, they at least would have got like six cases of beer. You feel what I'm saying? They would have, yeah, man, they would have got like six cases and busted that. Yeah, straight up. Ice in the tub type of shit or whatever. Or in a trash bag one and got it all the way in. But nah, it ain't that type of party, man. The motherfuckers out there, they got them on the mushrooms right now trying to stumble across a damn insect they can eat. So much for a uh, solo lame ass motherfucking performance that he's supposed to been doing that he didn't upload. I bet you the young wild and dude, he ain't even motherfucking come. He was like, man, hell no, I ain't fucking with them clowns. Yeah. This right here, and the nanotechnologies I was talking about. And this a whole lot of clown right here with his goddamn pinky in the brain, motherfucking pencil body with his light bulb ass head. That's these dumb, dumb nanotechnologies that's controlling your genetics. It disperses throughout the air. These are metals and chemicals and microRNAs, nanotechnologies that disperse throughout the air. And then you inhale into your bloodstream and then they regulate your genetics, which is controlling your behavior. Those are the aliens. Them right there. What are you at? You see how it just dispersed? Those are the aliens that's controlling your mind. I didn't see shit. He talking about they just dispersed and shit. That's right, right here. Them are nanotechnologies I was talking about. That's these dumb, dumb nanotechnologies that's controlling your genetics. It disperses throughout the LD. These are metal. So now the chemtrails is controlling your damn genetics. Come on, Jujizzle, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to start holding you accountable for this weird shit you be saying, man. And chemicals and microRNAs, nanotechnologies that disperse throughout the air, and then you inhale into your bloodstream, and then they regulate your genetics, which is controlling your behavior. Those are the aliens. Them right there. What are you at? You see how it just dispersed? 
So what the fuck did he inhale that's, you know, pretty much persuading, encouraging, or that has an effect on his weird ass, reject, non-working ass, I told you that pinky in the brain, NBA jam with the big head ass, like what's inspiring him? Like what the- Those are the aliens that's controlling your mind. Man, them ain't no damn alien. Man, the aliens ain't controlling shit. The aliens don't want shit to do with this planet. Your DNA. Like, because of weird motherfuckers like you. That's why the aliens don't even want to fuck with us. Because a bunch of weird, weird motherfuckers like you. Two teasers. But, um... <sighs> Chief ain't teaching shit. Chief trying to goddamn do a goddamn one for motherfucking three. He ain't doing a one for two. He doing a one for three. Chief with his leather feet ass. Yeah, his goddamn regular size foot looking like a damn crop without the holes in it leather foot ass man look here man that motherfucker in there hungry bro chief hungry just like he's just like he's stressed out meditation man he got that motherfucker man that shit like a piece of paper ass motherfucker hoodie on look you understand meditation to meditate is to focus your mind on what you want the mind to be Simple. To meditate is to focus one's thoughts deeply on what one wants the mind to be. And there's different ways that you can do this. There's different ways that you can focus your thoughts deeply. You feel me? You feeling the motherfucking insects. That what the fuck you feeling. That God is to say that shit earlier about old girl when she was sitting out that motherfucker swatting them. Yeah, them kings, them damn king size, snicker size motherfucking mosquitoes out there, bitch. <laughs> motherfucking biting through the goddamn skin. The motherfuckers attacking Juju ass. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. y'all, man, you supposed to be all about that nature stuff. Why you ain't out there, motherfucker? With your goddamn shirt off like nature, boy. Why you ain't out there barefoot? You supposed to be barefoot like Bigfoot. Um, Watch this shit. Meditation. You understand? Meditation. To meditate is to focus your mind on what you want the mind to be. Simple. To meditate is to focus one's thoughts deeply on what one wants the mind to be and there's different ways that you can do this there's different ways that you can focus your thoughts deeply they fucking with them right now i'm telling you the mosquitoes boy they on them motherfucking ass and the musk the 2024 mosquitoes i'm telling you this if you be outside or anywhere you know where there is some access from the damn outside i'm talking about a small crevice or any goddamn thing a wall or whatever motherfucker. just be rubbing on your legs and shit if you got on yeah if your legs is uncovered or whatever your arms uncovered be rubbing your arms rub your neck your face you know what i'm saying brothers y'all make sure y'all be rubbing your head and shit or whatever you feel and, and the reason i say rubbing that shit like that man because you don't know what the fuck gonna fail on your ass it's a bunch of weird shit going on they, I man i'm telling you they got man they got they got them mutant spiders out this motherfucker man even the flies is biting niggas now it's a recession out this motherfucker but the flies is biting niggas they like fuck it the mosquitoes is getting too much food Niggas ain't dropping food. You know how back in the day you might see like a discarded hot dog or something on the ground. I'm just, it's just on the ground. A motherfucking uh, damn snow cone and shit. Yeah, it's just on the on the goddamn pavement and shit. Motherfucker done took <laughs> one bite out of a cheeseburger. That motherfucker was dusty and distasteful and disregarded and shit you might see like two billion ants and shit yeah make it it'd be like a whole live straight black friday sale line and shit for 19 miles you don't see that shit no more mother it's a reset listen what i'm trying to tell you shit real now huh inflation <laughs> what jeezy <laughs> jeezy told them niggas huh <laughs> Boy, it's real, man. Ain't nobody dropping shit. Man, you ain't seen like straight animals, straight cats and shit out this month. 
Boy, they be looking fucked up. <laughs> they be looking like on them commercials and shit. Like, feed them. Yeah, like it cost 17 cents to feed them for a year and shit. I this Boy, it's hard on the yard at this motherfucker, boy. You hear me? Yeah, look how they fucking juju ass up. Look. Look. You feel me? You feel the motherfucker? They on your ass. I told you. <laughs> the motherfucker must keep it, boy. The motherfuckers are chop, 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 chop. The motherfuckers is extra chomping like a solvent. Do you hear me? Yeah, but hey, like I say, they the ones that be talking all this big boy nature shit. Get out in nature and get fucked up. He don't know. He ain't got no survival skills. We would have thought, you know, the honorable, you know, master fuck nigga nature boy. Yeah, that he would have told you some shit that he got right up out of a goddamn comic book instructional manual and shit to be able to thwart out all type of biting piranha teeth ass goddamn insects and shit that they got. No, that's why he find out. Yeah, man, all this shit, man, y'all done been claiming y'all was in the jungle. This nigga done been to Puerto Rico type shit and everything. Yeah, look at the man, the motherfucking mosquitoes got him stuck. Look, look how he focused. Look how he focused. Boy, that shit got him gone right now. He he can't even get it together. He can't even talk none of that irrelevant, incoherent rambling and shit that he usually doing. The mosquitoes got him fucked up. Like one of my forms of meditation is being outside grounded on the earth, connected to the earth. In nature, you feel me? With surrounded around a lot of green. You feel me? The sun right there, like that's one of my meditations. That's one of my forms of meditation because it helps me think, focus on my thoughts deeply and like think deeply on what I want, on what I want the mind to be. You feel me? And the answer, sometimes something to string through me, like in a moment, like that's. You feel me? One of my meditations. Look at his eyes. He ain't even sleeping. Look. You meditate through your gifts and your abilities, and, and so him and that girl laying out there in that tent now. Damn, did she lose the fucking apartment? Because I ain't seen them up in the apartment. She ain't get put out that motherfucking bitch. Now, if she done got put out and they staying out there and they got that, well, maybe they may just be staying out there, you know, in the tent. Yeah, just, you know, they, hey, they suppressing all of the elements and the insects and shit. The motherfuckers with 52 goddamn level 100 diseases and shit chomping all in their skin. Maybe they doing all of that because the flunkies are staying up in the spot. Hey, it's a shot in the dark. Who knows? Hey, it could be jumping off. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that spot where they're standing at right now. And you'll be able to see a little later. But that spot where they stand. Just remember this shit. Just remember where he's standing at. Cause nature boy used to... That nigga used to be questioning that shit. Like, how does dude always find? How can this nigga find me from a motherfucking leaf? A dis a, a leaf that's done fell to the ground. How does dude fall? How he find me all the damn time and stuff? I know that's how nature boy ass used to be. I know he used to be infuriated at that motherfucker. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was hot. He was upset. How you find after they nigga up told me, find me now, they find me now. Just remember the spot. And you feel me, your gift and your purpose. You don't know what your purpose is because you never really truly look into your astrological program. The most tad T Bobazi teaches that meditation is different contingent upon your astrological program and the energies, the compilation of energies that are inside of your astrological program. So I guess I guess his damn astrological program was 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 hella different then because that nigga ain't never meditate. What the fuck was he meditating on? All the time we seen his ass, he was on the internet talking all day. A whole bunch of hot ass garbage. He out that motherfucker motherfucking barely yeah look he barely melting the goddamn phone screen and shit yeah that's how hot as fucking that nigga breath with goddamn lukewarm lukewarm one oh 190 mixed with baby oil and shit your man in the kitchen stash of ice picks while i'm in this with a big cherry on top 
Me go somebody got the best plot. My bad, y'all. I done got them, got on that mother. If I was on that verbal intercourse, I done went back, man. Shout out to uh, Raekwon and Ghostface, man. Only built for Cuban links. Shout out to Nas Escobar. You already know what it is, man. Yeah, that's a classic, an oldie, but a goodie. Iconic, you feel me? Scrape like that. Program. The elements. Man, fuck that program, man. It's the elements that are dominant. The, mo the dominant elements in your program, in your chart. Nature Boy was dom I think I think Nature Boy dominated his mind, and then Jax was dominating his butt on. Jax was dominating that joint, you hear me? Jack was the goddamn dominatrix. Jax was dressed in motherfucking leather. <laughs> Jax had the strap. That nigga was got boy, I'm trying to tell boy, I, I can see Juju ass now with that goddamn cue ball in his mouth with the leather strap tied around and fastened around. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, a weirdo dressed in all black like the trash bag with them plastic boots on that sassy be wearing. For instance, somebody who has, who has a lot of fire, like myself, you feel me? Like like myself, I have a lot of fire on my chart. I do got a lot of fire on my chart. Somebody who has a lot of who has a lot of fire. You ain't you, you, you ain't have enough fire that 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 would have motherfucking pushed your ass to wanna put your goddamn hands up in the air in front of King World. I know that motherfucking much. You ain't had that much damn fire that's supposed to allegedly be in your chart. I got a lot of your chart. Fire and I got I got I got a lot of earth too. I got I I got 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 a lot of earth too, a lot of earth and fire, but majority earth. I mean water, I mean fire. I mean, but uh, somebody who has who has a lot of fire in the chart. The form of meditation that y'all have been programmed to do, which is crisscross Indian style with your hands right there. That from a meditation with some, for somebody with a lot of fire, they gonna get bored very easily. You feel me? Chief made a download talking about this. It's called what is meditation. Somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart is gonna get bored doing this type of meditation to where they just sing instead. They gonna get bored. Somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, their med the, uh, meditation for them is to be, is gonna be to get active. It's gonna be to like work out or like run around. You feel me? Or something that's gonna get them active. That's that's their meditation. That's that's one of their forms of meditation. That's one of my meditations, like working out, exercising, you feel me, stretching, walking around, being in nature, you feel me, being creative. It's different for different energies. Meditation is different for different energies. You gotta know yourself. You gotta know yourself. Because I don't are you feel me, I even though I feel like I'm getting I'm getting used to that. I'm getting more more used to going to like my imagination. You feel me? Even though I do it every night. I meditate deep. I go into a deep meditation every night. <laughs> I want. I wonder if he be imagining that nature boy still talking to him for fifty nine hundred hours a day and shit. Every night you sleep. Every time you go to. I ah, man, I'm just saying. He the one said he been working on his imagination. You go to sleep at night. Uh, you you meditate every time you go to sleep at nighttime. You feel me? That's what you you go into. You have a vision. You go into your imagination. You feel me? And then boom. Go, go ahead, man. Come on, man. That's meditation. It's crazy how this nigga can be talking about his imagination and all this other weird ass fucking shit. But this nigga ain't got nothing to say about the holographic universe. I thought the holographic universe was the place to be. I thought that's where Chief resided at. Nah, man. Chief resided at their got their prison. Ch Chief locked the fuck up. Chief got the L. Chief got a big L like he from Harlem. That's meditation. Rest in peace, big L. Meditation. You understand? I do that every night. I'm very good at that. You feel me? Master. <laughs> Master dreamer. <laughs> Master, Master dreamer. <laughs> Master dreamer. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> But Chief teaches that it's different for different energies. Whatever helps you focus your mind and clear your mind, that's your meditation. It could be writing. You feel me? But it's like you got dumber, man. Ever since, every ever since you took that wig off, Juju, you done got dumber. Straight up, that shit sad as fuck, yo. Somebody who got water, who has a lot of water, 
that form of meditation to where you sit down and you just be and you just inside your mind, that might be good for you. You feel me? That might be good for you. The Indian style, cross, crisscross style, that form of meditation might be good for you. But I know for me, I'm going to get bored. Like somebody for me, like I'll get bored. You feel me? I'll get bored. For years, I done had to do commentary just to keep my peoples from not being bored. But through an example, we now see how not only how slow the fuck that you are, but just how throwed off that you are and why nature boy deserves to have a life sentence so that he would not be able to, you know, continue to influence younger minded and younger in age folk like your damn self. That's the reason why his ass need a fucking life sentence. Somebody who got like a lot of earth and they taught somebody who got like a lot of earth, they'll fuck around, fall asleep doing that type of meditation style. So it's want to know like okay so like if he know all of this stuff about the chart and what did it do and how you either stronger or weaker in certain areas you know based off your astrological sign or whatever and shit if he know all that motherfucking shit why don't he know that it would be the right thing for him to just take his weird ass somewhere and get some employment it's different for like for each and every individual is different Meditation is not the same for everybody, bro. Y'all gotta stop misleading people out here and try to get people to do what you. Everybody, everybody is you. Yes, everybody is you, but everybody is unique through our genomes. We all got different astrological programs. Which I want you to take in all of this shit right here. Just, just, just get ready for a second, though. I'm gonna let this shit rip. I want you to take this shit in, like, like seriously, man. Like, like he got a, he got a whole, he got a whole lot of problem out this motherfucker, y'all. And at this point, I just don't think that it's any help, man, that's even going to work. I'm saying it's a damn shame. This young man, at his age, he continues to carry on as if that there is some exclusive propagation that's much needed for the sex cult leader. This guy has a life sentence, okay? You don't have to do a damn thing at this point with continuing to support him. What you're doing to all of us, you're proving without a shadow of a doubt that you're looking crazier than a song, bitch. That's what the fuck is going on, you just, you look, look at you, man. Like, what the fuck, man? Which means that we all got different ways of doing things and we all got different personalities and some things work for others and that's not gonna work for us. You feel me? So it'd it be like that. But you gotta know yourself and be patient with yourself to learn your gifts and learn what your abilities are and learn what your talents are. You meditate through your talents and through your gifts. One of your talents and one of your gifts might be music. This is a meditation for you. That's one of my meditations, music. I, I meditate listening to, or even listening to music, listening to instrumental beats. You feel me, R&B or something. Listening to music, music, that's one of my meditations. I love music. Hey, I, 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 could, I could focus. I could clear my thoughts on what I want the, on, on what I want the mind to be. That helps me clear my thoughts, music. Cleaning could be a meditation. Cleaning around, cooking could be a meditation. Walking around could be a meditation. Listening to rain could be a meditation. Watching the rain could be a meditation. You understand? Whatever helps you clear your mind and focus the mind on what you want it to be, this is your meditation. This is what so this is what meditation is. If you want now, if you want to go into that form of meditation to where you sit down crisscrossing, all right, but go ahead, cool. Just stop telling people that that's the only way to meditate, because that's not the only way to meditate. Whatever helps you meditate, I mean, whatever helps, peace of the God, peace of the God. Whatever helps you meditate, I mean, whatever helps you uh, clear your mind. Focus your mind on what you want it to be. This is meditation. That's what meditation is. That's meditation. That's meditation, right? We meditating right now. We praying right now. Yeah, proclaiming the kingdom. Yeah, this is, this is a meditation for me. This is a meditation for me. They had cut me off the lab and I was just about to, I was just about to go back, you feel me, and do a song or something. And I was, I, I'm walking on the grass and it's like, hold on. I got something to say about meditation because the knowledge, it, like proclaiming, like it just be a meditation for me. Like it, help, it, it helps me, it satisfies me. It helps my emotions when I proclaim. You feel me? I got Saturn and Gemini. You feel me? Communication for me is like it's lessons and restrictions and, and that I gotta go that that's all placed on my communication. So I gotta push past that. It's doubt that's placed on my communication. So I'll be having to push past that doubt. You feel me? I'll be having it's, it's it's fears that's placed on my communication. So I'll be having to push past that fear because at the end of the day, fear like Chief teaches is just false evidence appearing real. It's a figment of my imagination. It's not real. This is a meditation for me. It helps me. It makes me feel good when I proclaim. It made me feel good. 
when I go live and I proclaim chief innocence. That satisfies me. That's, that satisfies my emotion. That satisfies my emotion. Doing music satisfies my emotions. You feel me? Uh, 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 may, uh, proclaiming, doing downloads satisfies my emotions. You feel me? Clipping up videos of Chief downloads, that satisfies my emotions too. Because you feel me? Every time I hear an old download of Chief, he says, like, everything he's saying, I feel it more and more. Like, Chief really out here activating the guys, bro. He really out here activating the guys. Like, he out here activating us, bro. Whether y'all want to accept it or not. If you're not activating, if you're not being activated from his message, then you probably a cancer cell. You probably just a battery for the system. Uh, you probably just, um, you probably an obstacle that I'm going to end up overcoming. You probably an obstacle that we gonna end up overcoming. You gonna be, you probably, you probably, you probably one of our step stools. If you, if, if you feel me, you understand what I'm saying to you. But chief message is a Christ consciousness. Chief's message is a Christ consciousness. The five sciences. I am God. You are God. We are all God. You are a cell living within your body. You are God. Get back in tune with your natural environment. You need to live, get back in your natural environment. Get back in harmony with nature. Get closer to what you are. You are the sun. You need to get closer to the sun. Get closer to your natural environment as possible. That's a damn shame, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, just listening to this dumb ass talk, y'all. Then people putting in the comments talking about, you know, how nice he is as a rap. Man, you need to get a job, Juju. That's the fuck you need to do. Armand already know that he nice as a rapper, as an MC, but he has a job. Because he know, you, you like straight the fuck up, he know shit just ain't gonna fall from the damn sky and shit. Taking your damn shoes off and walking out in the damn grass ain't paying no fucking bills, Juju. Like you tripping right motherfucking now, y'all like. It don't matter where you are, you gotta get get it to a nature. It's, it's, it's nature around you, it don't matter where you are, you just gotta go out and look. That water I just sold y'all, bro, we just, niggas just found that recently. We just found that recently by going outside. Y'all remember when I was on left that one time? And I told you, look, this is a trail that one time when I was on live. Y'all seen when I found this trail on live. Y'all seen when I found this trail on live. I was on live with y'all when I found the trail. But it go deep. It go deep to where you found the water that I just sold y'all. That I was just on live with the water. The last, yeah, that's it's all the way down there. Going to nature. The Christ consciousness. Get back in tune with your next one volume. You see, this information is meditation. Studying, studying the downloads, that's a meditation for me. Bro, Chief got over 1,600 videos on Nature Boy TV YouTube channel. You've been, you been studying Jack's download, as we heard. Yeah, you're talking about studying Chief download, man. You've been studying Jack. You've been taking all of Jack's downloads, uh-huh. How many of them downloads? Jack's was getting them back shots. Have you looked at? How many of them videos have you watched? How many of them 1,600 videos plus have you watched to learn about yourself? Ask him some of that question. Or have you just watched the videos at the top? After 1,600, he ain't hit him with, this nigga just turned into Booker. Oh, that nigga said 1,600. Pro's been promoting. No, go on Nature Boy TV YouTube channel. Me studying these downloads, me studying this, this information, this is a meditation for me. This is a meditation for me. It satisfies my emotions. It helps me. It clears my mind. I could think. I could think deeply. Whatever helps you think deeply, whatever helps you think deeply, this is a meditation for you. Talking, talking could be a meditation because it's, it's helping you clear your mind. It clears your mind. It calms you down. It's clearing your mind. You're clearing your thoughts. It clears your thoughts out. You hear these niggas say, oh, yeah, in order to meditate, you need to realize that you're not your thoughts. No, nigga, you are your thoughts. You are definitely your thoughts. You are your thoughts. Oh, you need to, you need to. That mean you dumb if you are your thoughts. Focus on not thinking. You need to focus on some other shit instead of that motherfucker ducking and dodging and the motherfucker killing mosquitoes. But I mean, when I first started waking up, I used to try to do that shit. Well, for, I used to try to focus on not thinking. Nigga, to focus on not thinking is a thought. Don't this look like a little fairy or something? <laughs> To focus on not thinking is a thought. Yes, you are You are all those thoughts, reflexing. You are all the passing thoughts. You are all the negative thoughts. You are all the positive thoughts, the ugly thoughts. You are all those thoughts. I, the Lord, do all these things. It's just up to you whether you want to rebuke those negative thoughts or not. It's just up to you on what perspective you want to hold on to. Maintain the healthy one or are you just going to maintain the negative one? If I, cause I am all these thoughts that, all these thoughts that pass through my head, they're all me. They're part of me. They're not outside. They're not. I ain't, they're in my head. They're me. Duh. They're, they're I wonder what, just 
I mean, look at this dumbass. I wonder what the fuck animals in nature be thinking like when they hear a motherfucker this slow, this dumb, regurgitating and reciting this dumb ass shit they done got from nature, boy. They're, they're me. I am me. I am my thoughts. They're me. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like, Do you see why he, why he deserved to have a life sentence? You say I ain't messed this young dude up, man. He out here talking ain't making not a lick of damn sense. It's, it's, they're, they're me. They're my thoughts. They're me. But whenever I have negative ones, oh, I got to rebuke them. It's not that I'm not those negative ones. I just got to rebuke them and alchemize them with, and use the knowledge in my head. You got to you, you have to choose the higher thoughts. Because the most had T.Y.B.G. teaches, the key to... Juju, the devil is a lie. The healing from your traumas is to change your perspective. Maintain a healthy perspective. That's the key. Maintain a healthy perspective. The fuel to joy is gratitude. You feel me? I like to be grateful. I like to be grateful for the little for the little things. That's that's what that's what you feel me keep me going. Being grateful. <sighs> you feel me? Grateful for that. Grateful for another chance and another opportunity to wake up to another chance and another opportunity. I'm grateful for that. Focus on those type of things. Those type of things. Instead of trying to indulge in the negative ones all day. Yeah, you okay, you, you we human. Of course we human. We demigods. We the, we the demigods, we human. So you're going to have little negative feelings every now and then. But she teaches that your feelings come from your thoughts. So feel it. Feel it. Feel your thought. Feel that, feel that thought. Feel that negative thought. But at the end of the day, don't live in that. You got to alchemize that negative thought and use the knowledge. Use the knowledge to get through that. To overcome that. To overcome Satan. To overcome the devil. Man, that sister just said some real shit. Damn. She dropped it on jujizzle. She say, but they not really your thoughts. They are your thoughts. She say, think for yourself. Damn. Now that's crazy right there. Devil. Those but truthful as hell though. Temptations in your head. Those temptations in your head, that's Satan. That's the devil. That doubt in your head, that doubt, that's the devil. You could be your own worst devil sometimes. I teach teachers. I see teachers, you could be your own worst devil sometimes because you always doubting. You always doubting yourself. You constantly, you constantly living in fear. You, you your own devil, nigga. You your own Satan. Get behind me. Sometimes I could be my own, my own worst devil. Sometimes I could be my own worst fear. Sometimes I could fear myself. Sometimes I could fear my own power. I could, I could fear my own. I could fear myself sometimes. Get behind me, Satan. That's what the Holy Spirit is here for. I'm grateful my teeth came through with the fast sciences and he came through with the Christ conscious. Oh, yeah, Messiah is here. The Messiah is here. Oh, yeah, the Messiah is here. The Messiah is here. Yeah. You heard him say, you're not your thoughts. Definitely behind some apartments. When you meditate, try not to think. How can I try not to think? Me trying not to think is a thought. Try not to think. Uh, don't think. Don't think. Uh, don't. It's a. That's a thought. That that's still a thought. You are your thoughts. You come from a thought. Everything is made by a thought. John one verse one, like chief teaches. Chief teaches. In the beginning was the thoughts. In the beginning was. Oh, so that's what chief teach, but it came from the Bible. From the biblical text, young brother. So I asked Chief T. Man. It was the thoughts. And the thought was with God. And the thought was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by thought. And without thought, nothing that was made would be made. Man, go ahead, uh, uh, Jujizzle, with that weird shit, man. Come, just, just, just stop. Everything is thought. You come from a thought. How are you not so thoughts? When you come from a thought, you thought yourself into existence. You think yourself into other dreams, other existences through your dreams. Everything is thought. How can you not be your thoughts? Oh, if you want to meditate, go into this meditation. Oh, you need to not think. Don't think. You are not your thoughts. You are not your body. You live in separation. Lower self. Lower self lives in separation. That's not the oneness. You would not enter the kingdom like this. You can't enter the kingdom like this. The kingdom is the oneness. The kingdom of God is oneness. 
the king the kingdom of God is oneness. Okay. So so God has got our answer. What is the kingdom? The, getting straight up, yo. Like, I mean, people have been asking this shit for like years, man. Like what? And I even aside from the knowledge, that's the thing too, because he said that stuff about the proclaiming the kingdom and shit or whatever. It's the oneness. It's within you. You are the oneness. Can you tap into that oneness? What you know about that oneness? What you, what you know about that oneness? What you know about that void? What you know about that primordial? What you know about? See, he do. He see, see, see. He do. He he do the little homosexual thing just a little too well, y'all. That Lulu. I like my women melanated. I like Lulu. Oh, we go to the dumb shit. I like my women melanated or like no no. Come directly to your house, that's the true you. Created so blue, don't let thoughts control you. What this is? What type of rock this is? Maybe little rocks around here with this bitch like growing a little bit. Can y'all see that? Damn. Whoa, what in the hell is going on, yo? Like, what did you see that? Did you see his damn fingernails? Oh, this shit is wow, yo. This nigga is really out in nature. Oh, I bet you he stanked. Look at his fingernails, man. That it, man. That's nasty. Look at this shit, man. This is fucked up. Like, yo, why is his fingernails looking like that? Damn, yo. Juju ain't been in that damn tub in bottle. Man, that's stuff been a couple. Look at that grime on. Man, that look. He thought that was a chicken nugget. <laughs> Box around here with this bitch, like, growing a little bit. Can y'all see that? It's just growing a little bit. Yeah, that motherfucker hungry, boy. He's studying that rock, boy. He thought it was a chicken nugget straight up, yo. I don't know what's up about this? I don't know. But look, let me tell you, right? My body's an organic computer. Natural. Go natural. Organic. Everything natural. I am what it is. I am the dirt. I am the grass. I am the leaves. I am everything. <laughs> like Chief teaches, I'm grateful. But you live in separation. You will not enter the oneness like that. You will not enter the kingdom. The kingdom of God is oneness. How are you trying to enter the kingdom of God when you live in a separation all the time? You separate yourself from your thoughts. You separate yourself from God. How can you separate yourself from God? How can you separate yourself from the oneness? You all need to separate yourselves from Elysio Bishop. And you trying to enter the kingdom? You trying to enter the kingdom and live in the oneness? Now, I like separation. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. I like separation. I like separation in the sense of I want to experience. You feel me? Because cause, cause everything that defines you with every, is everything you're not, like Chief, C, like Chief Teachers. Oh, let me block this hole right here. Let me block this hole. I just blocked this hoe. Because, hey, look, she's about to come home very, very soon. Like, very, in a, very, very soon. Like, sooner than y'all expect. So, I just blocked that hoe. You feel me? Ho. Whore. Whore. Horus. Horus. But, look. You need separation. Because, like, Chief Teases, opposition, opposition defends you. And what defines you is everything that you're not. You feel me? Everything that you're not defends you. You need opposition. Without opposition, you don't know who you are. So that is separation in that sense. I like separation. I like separation in that sense. You feel me? To experience myself subjectively. Because God likes separation. God wants to experience itself subjectively. The universe wants to experience itself and talk to itself and, and communicate with itself subjectively. That's what makes us unique. So that uniqueness is good. But at the end of the day, it's still one. It's still oneness. There's no separation. <laughs> There's no separation. You living like that? Oh, you will not answer. But it's never too late. It's never too late to walk that righteous path. It's never too late to walk that righteous path. Never. It's never too late to tap into the three. Tap into the truth. Wait, hey, look here. Three, three already tapped in. Three, three, three tapped into that department of correction, man. It's, it's, it's a wrap on three. It, it, it's a whole rap on three, man. I'm sorry, man. You being out here in these woods and shit, man, that just ain't gonna motherfucking cut it. It gotta be more to life than this shit right here. These people are demons. My chief teaches demons are low vibrational thought forms. 
These are exactly what they are. Yes, this little shit, man. Yes, these people are my reflections, but they are my lower self. They are my lower self. But I still love you. I still love you. No matter what you say about me, I still love you. No matter how much you hate, I still love you. I'm going to still make videos. I have a YouTube. I have my Instagram now. I'm going to still make videos. I'm going to still clip up videos because I would like to help people that are so stuck. You're so stuck. You go to work. You come home. You go to work. You come Damn, here we go. See, and now you see why Nature Boy needed to have a life sentence. You see now? You see the type of robots on the assembly line that's done been made after his image and likeness sounding just like his weird ass. You come home, you give your money back to the bank, you go home, you're so stuck. I, I, want, I want to help you. Peace to the goddess. Peace to the goddess. I want to help you. I want to help you gain knowledge of self. Like, you can't just be out here lost. I know y'all see stuff happening now. I know y'all see. Oh, you did? Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look at it. How you feeling this morning, Goddess? I really just wanted to hop back on here because I was just inside cleaning up, and then I realized I had got some comments in my video, and I was just like, "Okay, that that's a sign that I need to go back live. That's a sign that I need to go back live." But really, like I be saying, every time I get on live, I'm just encouraging y'all to just do the right thing, to do the right thing. But now more than ever just because i don't want people to get scared about the solar eclipse and things happening because natural scared of what a solar man you... this shit crazy as a motherfucker man i think it's just a thing like i don't know man i i this is just fucked up this whole shit with the solar eclipse and oh god man this shit is just too fucking much man. natural disasters are starting to happen things that people said were going to happen are going to start happening and if you do not have so if the stuff gonna happen what people were saying gonna happen or whatever the hell that they was thinking what happened and stuff or whatever how can these disasters be natural disasters if you're saying all of this stuff just gonna happen so naturally it's just gonna unfold it's gonna all end that way the way that you're saying the prescribed upright motherfucker way that's what you're saying i have knowledge of something ain't right with this shit too self especially if you do not have knowledge of self if you don't know who you are then you're gonna be looking out in the world like what the f like what is going on like what is going on and please please don't be so focused on the messenger that you can't even take in the knowledge you can't even take in the information because this these are keys these are these are jewels right here that you need to you need to take in just go on nature boy tv go on the playlist because chief breaks it down very easily simply the five sciences to prove how you are god we have astrology biology quantum physics melanin and grounding go on the playlist and study study only per only person you should be focused on right now is yourself only person i am focused on right now is myself i'm not focused on no brother no kids no sister no mom i am fo focused on me when i die when i die at the when i die i'm not taking anybody with me nobody with me you as well you are not taking anybody with you you need to be focused on you you need to be focused on you you need to stop giving your energy to people that you don't really like. You need to stop giving your energy to people that you you don't resonate with, that you just, I don't know, if you feel like a bad, a bad vibe, stop giving your energy to things that are not serving you. If it's not helping you in any way, stop giving your energy to it. Stop. Your, your focus is very, very important. Your attention is very, very important. A lot of people are out here distracted. Saturn is also in Pisces. So people are out here trying to find distractions. Oh, let me try to, let me try to smoke. Let me try to drink. Let me try to go out and party. Just distractions so you don't have to face yourself. A lot of people want to demonize the knowledge as well so they won't have to face themselves. This is facts. This is truth. And everybody knows what Chief is speaking is facts and truth. It's nothing demonic. Chief ain't speaking shit right now because Chief got a motherfucking life sentence. That's what's weird as a motherfucker. Like Chief, Chief hit like good reef, like like straight up. Like I don't understand like why this shit hasn't like sunk in yet. Why is it not registering yet? But he has a life sentence. 
nature boy has gone. So you and, and that Fred Flintstone, five o'clock shadow mustache and shit that you rocking, you and Juju, y'all need to intertwine as one and go take a goddamn shower. Y'all need to go intertwine together. Y'all can burn sage in that motherfucker or whatever. Yeah, man, y'all need to go just jump in a damn cesspool full of motherfucking body wash mixed with toothpaste and shampoo. <laughs> I'm so, y'all need that act. Jew Jizzle, you need some act, yo. You got to get the axe in the black bottle. Man, you got, boy, you got to use that body wash. Boy, that body wash get all of your pores and everything. Boy, that's what you will be smelling like. You get, you need to tighten up with the motherfucker one time. And she got to get the fuck up out that motherfucking car. Like, like this shit is, is fucking crazy. Like, young ass folk, man, can be doing anything with their life. Fucking around. Look here, them wasted it all on Nature Boy. Nature Boy got their mind. And a motherfucking headlock out this bitch. And for years, they got upset with me making an attempt from preventing people from being placed on the damn assembly line and then ship right to social media to be a damn program parakeet ass fucking robot. Because that's what the hell she sound like. Her ass sound like I am. Her ass sound like Zoka. She sound like Elfru. She sound like Malia. And any other woman. That's done been attracted to Nature Boy or wanted to be close to Nature Boy. You've heard the exact same emulation down to a T, the rambling, not making sense. This is all the makings of a motherfucking cult. I mean, it is what the fuck that it is. It's fucked up. They ass ain't baby. Like I say, Juju, man, Juju Jizzle look like he got a brick of dope worth of damn dirt up under his fingernail. I'm like, how the fuck? Like, how your shit get? I'm like, how your damn nails dirty like that? Like, why your shit dirty like that? Like, that's, that shit crazy as a motherfucker. I'm like, what? That's nasty, you know? Ain't no telling what them motherfuckers eat, man. They just they just fucked up in the game, man, to tell you the damn truth. They fucked up. Young folks, told out. Astrology this. My higher self, this and that. <laughs> like I say, you don't need hear motherfuckers too much going into the holographic universe, no motherfucker mode. It's like it's whatever. The mind. Is a terrible motherfucker thing to waste. You hear me? <laughs> Damn, man. Like this this shit is just wild as fuck, man. Just thinking about the whole shit, man. Just damn, like he gone. He hit. You see what I do? I'll be DJing. Like, I don't need to be fucking with shit like that, man. Like it's it's as humorous even looking back at everything now and like where people are. Uh, not so much as in life, but their state of mind post the sex cult leader. You know, him, a him not being there. Yeah, like that motherfucker. Like post incarceration, man. Look here, post arrest rather. Motherfucker could have just walked out the door, just been free, just 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 living, just just free, doing what it do. No. Still want to proclaim the weird ass, yeah, man. That great value of his motherfucking kingdom. That's that, I'm tell, I'm trying to fucking tell you. That's all that they want to do, and th this should show people how effective that a demon like Nature Boy was. What his true intentions was with manipulating the youth, telling a bunch of fucking lies. And scamming an entire collective of a community. <clears throat> now you have younger people. You got younger people like Juju and 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 whatever their name is, Aja Asia, whatever the hell her name is and shit. But you got those type of individuals that, that they fucked up. Like they they have taken it upon themselves as if it's obligatory to promote the cult leaders' teachings. There ain't even no goddamn teachings. He ain't teaching shit. His wives 
are not even teaching anything. Something you would have thought that you know they would have been doing, but nah, that nah, hell no. They ain't doing none of that motherfucking shit. They just looking and sounding crazy as fuck, to be honest with you. Looking and sounding crazy as fuck. I am just sitting here tripping off this shit like after all this fucking time, yo. Oh, and I said it in the beginning. I'm saying it again, too, man. Shout out to Velvet, man. Shout out to Velvet Marquez. It's great like that, man. Yeah, man. Hey, look here, man. They, they ain't throwing Velvet, you know what I'm saying, through the constant rotation. But she doing what it do, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just keep doing what you doing, Velvet. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You know it's a lot of haters at this motherfucker, man. They, they, hey, look here, man. They go, hey, look here, man. They hated on Jesus, man. What make you think they ain't gonna hate on you? Sixty hated on you. All I did was roast you and stuff. You feel? That's why I don't even call you B O X no more. I just took the B O X all up off this network right here. We showing love until. Proven, yeah, I'm just saying, goddamn, you know, it's done been several different events, you know, we've seen involved in Velvet, you know, but you know, as of lately, we haven't, we haven't seen it. There hasn't been any negative reportings. There haven't been anything that we feel strongly that we should have brought to her attention, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, like I say, man, shout out to Velvet. I can't say shout out to Juju or old girl, man, because both, both of them throw on the fuck off. And I remember I told you about that spot, you know, where Ju Jizzle was at and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Remember what I told you? When Juju was lying, right? And what he was doing, when he was standing there, right? I've been seeing a lot, a lot of bees lately. I actually watched a video recently. It said bees, um, I think it said vibrate or something along those lines at 500 hertz so they like to be around high vibrational people i need to wipe my camera off. Okay. i think this is a good spot yep y'all might as well ground with me i'm about to take off my take off my shoes right now you hear the birds in the background there we go. The sun is hot. I'm drinking hibiscus tea. This one says, How strange that nature does not knock and yet does not intrude. I read this earlier. Nature, it definitely does not knock. But I feel like nature does intrude because it be wiping stuff out fast, quick, like, like a thief in the night. It'd be so quiet. She brought that glass up out of her apartment, so I guess she just letting the flunky stay up and stay up in her spot or whatever, you know, being that they, you know, they chiefs, wives and stuff, you know, I guess it'll be an honor for her to allow for them, you know, to stay in her home and she should feel overprivileged to then go and then sleep in a damn tent at night. I put cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper in here. So it's kind of spicy. I feel so good today. I was outside grounding for some cayenne pepper in that motherfucker. Her biscuits tea. Man, she done gone crazy, man. That's why she be bookying in that damn trash bag. Out there in that tent. I don't know. I was outside grounding for a while. Actually, I meditated while I was outside a little bit. Just closed my eyes. I was out there for a couple hours. It felt good. I think it's supposed to be like 73. I'm only be on here for a minute because I plan on taking off some of my stuff and just just letting the sun hit me. I've been talking to the earth a lot more lately. I've been putting good intentions out there. I've been manifesting, just really just connecting more, more than I ever have. And I feel like when I put those intentions out there, like, I don't know, I feel like I get rewarded quickly. Like yesterday, I put out intentions that, well, that I just wanted to, I wanted to like receive a, like a vision or be able to like really remember my dreams. And one of those, I did get one of those, like I was able to remember like parts, like parts of my dream. I like to, 
I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's always a message or it's always a meaning behind it. So if it's something that, that really sticks out to me, I might record it on my phone. Like I might do like a little voice recording. So I remember what I said, or I might, um, I might like write it down. I've had some very interesting dreams, like very, very interesting. But as of lately, they just been kind of like, I feel like I'm like, traveling, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just like traveling so much in my dreams and things like that. Mm, it's interesting though. I'll wake up and my body will be like, the other day I woke up like my chest was sore. I'm like, but in my dream, I was, I was carrying something like, and I was like, that's interesting because in real life, if I was really carrying something, my chest would be like sore from like just carrying something really heavy. So I was like, that's interesting. But yeah, I feel good. I feel really good. It's a big old anthill back there. Let's see if y'all can see it. Wait, is that over there? No. Yeah, it's a big anthill. Peace to the gods. Out here grounding. I suggest y'all do the same thing with me. Take off your shoes. What's today? Say what 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 is the benefits of this grounded? I mean, aside from you know, fifty nature boy, you know, explaining with the little yellow machine and shit that he had or whatever, and then him going deeper into the essentials of on what it'll do for you, how how it's best, you know, that you go outside and then do that. He strongly suggested that for you know to scores of people. And this young sister right here, aside from her being on her shit, going out there, getting that money, doing what it do, working that job, holding her shit down. Man, I had some of this bitch talking about taking your shoes off and grounding. They say Monday, took off your shoes, connect to the earth. I feel good. I really, I've been laying down though. I've been laying down in the, uh, in the sun. I'll be ready to fall asleep. <laughs> Peace to the gods, peace to the infinite. It's been so busy since yesterday. I don't know if y'all went out yesterday, but it, it's like it's like a lot of people traveling. It seems like it's a lot of people traveling. It's a lot of people trying to get to certain locations to see the solar eclipse. So I guess the last solar eclipse was in peace to the gods peace to the gods so i guess the last solar eclipse was um let me let me let me, let me protect my subconscious real quick okay there we go my bad i had to do that real quick but um the last solar eclipse was in 2017. When I woke up this morning, I was watching some um, some videos about the solar eclipse. And I was trying to figure out when the last solar eclipse was because I know... Oh, that means I had just got out of high school. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Because I'm like, I don't remember a solar eclipse and I don't remember people taking it this serious. But like people are traveling to see it and different things like that. I find that so, so interesting because I never, I don't remember... I don't remember the, the last solar eclipse, but I'm really done watching videos on it because I'm just seeing a lot and I'm not, um, I feel like they're also trying to scare people. Oh my gosh, man. So now it's a fear mongering tactic. You saying you don't remember a solar eclipse. Of course you don't remember a solar eclipse because you're simply too young. Okay. And it was what, August the 21st and 2017? They stated that was, in fact, the last total solar eclipse. But the Earth as a whole sees one about once every 18 months. <laughs> Here's what you do need to know, okay? The last total solar eclipse in the U.S., it's been more than three decades since the total solar eclipse of February the 26th, a day after my birthday, a year after I was born in 1979 which crossed through Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and North Dakota before heading north to Canada. That's according to NASA. The last time the continuous, you know, continuous has seen a total solar eclipse until, you know, the one on August 2017. And that's just not going to work on me, so. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I would leave it in there, but I don't want to. I'll just take the whole thing out. He done dropped in the comments and say, 
Why did your children get taken away? But I was seeing. She ain't peeped the comments yet. And different things about like them going to outer space or um, them trying to do something with the sun. Then I seen something about some cows, and then I the cows, and then they were comparing it to the Simpsons, one of the Simpsons episodes, because you know the Simpsons they they tend to predict stuff. No, I don't think anything is scary about it. I think they're trying to scare people because every time I go and try to look at something about the solar eclipse, it's like, um, it's always like a bold title to like, like the other day when I was looking up something about the solar eclipse, it said like, you are, U.S. Marshals are warning people about the solar eclipse. Oh yeah, they were saying stay away from like large crowds, terrorist attacks, different things like that. But no, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I know whatever happens, I'll be protected, but... I do feel I like would think that they would, you know, say that being that there would have possibly have been a large score of people, you know, within particular areas, most notably like in the downtown areas, uh, you know, like Palladiums, et cetera, et cetera. I think they stated all of that just for people's own safety and well-being. You feel like they like to scare people. But I don't think it has shit to do with no aliens or any damn thing like that. That's just the news in general, I feel like. I mean, I, I am interested to see if anything cool happens. <laughs> if anything cool happens afterwards, like it's been a lot of it's been a lot of change. Anything cool, like what the aliens coming this year? But it's it's all been it's all been. They're gonna open up a, a motherfucking portal and shit. They're gonna open up a portal straight from a uh, planet kind. Good. I feel like it's all it's all been needed. We're in the year of death and transformation. And as a Scorpio, how is that every year is just a year for some shit, man? I remember back in like 1999, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker was saying that the world was going to end in 2000 and shit. Now she's saying that 2024 is the year for some shit, too. Like, what the fuck? Why is every year it's supposed to, something's supposed to just happen or whatever? Like, who who is behind? I just want to know, like, the missing puzzle piece of the conspiracy theory. Like, who's doing this shit, man? I welcome, I welcome the good and I welcome the bad because I know that it has to happen. So, yeah, I woke, I welcome it all. I haven't had my legs out. My, they're burning. The sun is getting. Yep, the course of life, so beautiful. And I feel like the time that we're living in now is so Life, huh? I wonder, would it take me under? Man, shout out to Nas Escobar. But yeah, somebody else, man, put in the comments and asked if she had children. So beautiful, like we are living in a very, very special time and I'm I'm very grateful to, to be alive. I'm very, very grateful. Very grateful to be alive, to have the knowledge that I do. Like, I'm so grateful. Ooh, hold on. I am not gonna lie. I am burning. I've been getting a lot of questions about children and a lot of comments about kids and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I want you to know Juju ass burning too. You talking about you burning because you drinking that goddamn hibiscus tea and shit. You drinking that hibiscus with some cayenne pepper in that motherfucker. Juju ass burning. Him and, him and Jack's been singing. And see, this is the stuff that I'm talking about right here. Yeah, out there laying out there in the grass with that girl up there in that tent and then carrying on and then hooting and hollering. Just the same shit that Jax was doing with Mama Avere. The same shit. The exact same damn shit, man. Crazy. Yep, yeah, so Jax and Juju burning. and they've been doing each other. And now Juju possibly is doing this woman right here, but she talking about she burning. And I don't know. I don't even think she knows she burning where it came from i don't know where it came from i really don't know 
I don't know where it came from. But when it comes to my personal life, that's not going to really be discussed on here. As you see from, like, my YouTube... I mean, not from my YouTube, but from my Instagram, like, you can see, like, I'm just here to, like, really, like, post, like, knowledge, knowledge, enlightenment that I have got from my chief to really, like, share information that I feel like y'all need. But as far as, like, personal life, I'm not really, I'm not really here to discuss anything personal, to be honest. But if you want to know something about some type of knowledge or anything like that, I can definitely lead you in the di right direction. I love having intellectual conversation, so that is more than welcome making a turn yes life is it's beautiful though it's beautiful it has to happen it's a lot of it's a lot of negative it's a lot of bad in the world it is it is a huge amount and i feel like the earth the earth is not happy i feel like ma ma is not too happy about that so i feel like yes destruction and all of that needs to happen kill off the bat <laughs> kill off the bat please and thank you in the comment flu flu say let me let yeah, yeah i think he was saying he was in the queue it's a lot of robotic energy oh shit saw people just walking around here like robots destroying the earth not caring about it not connecting to the earth a lot of people out here just eating, just eating whatever, just going out, entertaining, distracting themselves. It's just a lot. It is a lot. Oh my goodness. There's just like five bees behind me. Peace to the gods. They say peace to the guys talking about Jew Jizzle. And Jew Jizzle said block dude. So I'm guessing he's saying to block flu. Dang, I told you. Yeah, Juju hitting him. Jew Ju Jizzle is hitting him. Yeah, he the person I guess he's supposed to be taking care of. Or that's that, you know, I guess that's his boo thing or whatever. I don't, I don't motherfucking know, but this shit is weird as a motherfucker. Do you hear me? <laughs> Day. I was just out here grounding, just talking. I feel good. The sun is hot. I was telling them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. What is this right here? Right, I'm just not gonna click on it. But yeah, I was just out here encouraging people to go outside and ground. It feels really, it feels really good out outside today. Crazy, yo. Crazy how she, uh, how she blocked flu and shit like that, man. <laughs> that shit is wild as fuck. So let me see how he feel about that thing. I'm just saying, though, you know, we're being blocked and everything, like, you know, what the reason was behind all of that. And let's see if we can find out more, you know, whether or not if, in fact, she was on the Bigo app because, you know, Flute done been frequenting the Bigo app for quite some damn time. And I'm sure uh, if he did see a face or heard of, you know, a person, he definitely wouldn't forget that face or that person. So let's tap in with her, man, and see what's good. Who the fuck is she? I'm just saying, man. Like, like who, who, who is she, man? Uh, like, I, I, man, come on with it, man. Come Reason on with it. Reason behind all of that right there. Like, damn, who is this strange-ass damn person? You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck is she? Let me go ahead and then bring flute up in here. I figure this. I've been trying to figure this shit out right here. It ain't even mind boggling. Just the whole situation is weird. Already, yes. what's going on? All is well. All is abundant. Indeed, <laughs> Indeed brother. Man. 
Man, hey, you already know what I'm on, man. You know what kind of time I'm on, man. And I appreciate you coming up too, yo, for real. Hey, that part, man. Like, I want... So, check this out. Here's my thing. I like how you ended the last video off. We didn't answer that final question. Remember? The cliffhanger. The, uh, the question about velvet. You want to okay. That? Okay. You got to refresh. You got to refresh my memory. Well, you asked me about the velvet on the bus. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, you want me to answer that question right now? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Okay, oh. and you know, just for people that don't know, you know, there was a time too when I think you know velvet was taking the transit, and it just so happened that you know flu seen on there. It was some stuff like what she said about. You know, I don't know whether or not she felt like she was creeped out or whatever, you know, with she said then at the time with you recording her. But then, you know, she took a you know photo of you or whatever. Exactly. That's correct. All right. So I'm about to explain what what happened that day. So um, previously, before, uh, you know, that happened, you know, I, I did that. Um, there was a woman that um that i know of you know that was you know following you know carbonation and all that stuff and she seen big wizzy out live well not live on you know with nature boy she was just coming down the stairs and i think she seen her on the elevator or some shit and she big was wizzy. Like, yeah, so here, let, let me let me get to it. So she was like thinking in her mind, like I should pull out my phone and you know uh, start recording that because that she was thinking in her, in her mind as far as you know that's what a lot of the big content creators do and shit, you know. So so that's what inspired that, you know, and and. After, you know, the whole thing going down, I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up. But fast forward, going back to Peace with Velvet. Now, um, this is the thing. She, I noticed, like, she tried to say that I was stalking her or all this shit. That wasn't true. Um, what went down was I was on the bus before her. Not a lot of people know, you know, they didn't they they didn't understand that part, and I think that's what everybody was getting confused. They thought her I followed her on the bus. I was, you know, on the bus getting ready to go do my thing, you know, my street performing duties, and I had if you see in the picture, I have some musical equipment and. Uh, uh, you know, I, I had like a dolly and stuff I was carrying, but um, I also get when she got off of the bus, I was like, okay, that makes more sense, you know, for her to go live and put it out there like that because you know I can understand the circumstance with her, you know, her her children and all of that stuff where it was kind of like she was kind of going into a a, a fit about because like i say you, you uh you don't really know me like that so it's kind of like so he over exaggerated the story saying that you know i i was trying to follow her and do something and i i totally get that because, you know, I'm pretty sure that any mom would have probably did that, you know, it's like, it, it, it's what it is, you know, but bottom line, I was on the bus first, uh, I was, you know, getting ready to go to my thing, and I just so happened to see her, and I was like, okay, let me pull out my phone, and, you know, uh, try to take a photo, and shit, and that was really it. But when I thought about it, I was like, "Man, I'm not going to put this picture 
throw on Beagle or nothing. Uh, because like I say, I, I was thinking long and hard about it. And I was, you know, I, I was talking with other people right around the time that, that the, uh, after that happened. And I was kind of like, maybe I shouldn't post it, but this was on my way to my destination. Then next thing I know, I'm going live on Bego when I'm about to perform and stuff. I didn't know that she t- took photos of me and next thing I know I hear uh, people they're, they're on the lookout for me and shit and I'm like what the heck so that I learned my lesson from you know that experience you know the scene that uh, being played out you know it, 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 it's definitely not worth the views and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Said it ain't worth the view. Yeah. Yeah, man. But that's pretty much the, uh, the main story is she really tried to exaggerate that, you know, that I, tr- that I tried to follow her and tried to, you know, attack or do whatever. I, I, I was on the bus regardless. And I just wanted the world to know that. You know, like, the only thing I did was take a photo at the time when she came on the bus. <clears throat> but I'm pretty did you, sure. Did, did, I mean, I mean, was you, was you expecting to see her, you know? No, no, no. I, um, I, I think I heard something about her being in Cincinnati at that time and stuff, but, um, I was just going to to my uh you know my destination getting ready to go play some music and and i seen her popping up and it uh you know from the area where i um where i seen her I, it, it was there was a daycare in the area so i think she was either probably coming from there if that's my guess <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, and and like I say, I I I just wanted to know. Yeah, and, and you're right. You know, what I mean, just from that, you know, just from the conversation, the conversation alone, because yeah, she did, you know, say that. You know, matter of factly, like yeah, you know, said like you was followed or type of shit or whatever. So yeah, I'm glad you did clear that shit up. Yeah, 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 and I like I say, I'm pretty sure. Any mother would probably have done that. Now, hey, look, we 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 were looking at you on some stalker shit. Now, we were looking at you like, like, yeah, damn, boy, you on some old weirdo shit out the motherfucker. That's how we were looking. Yeah, yeah, I I I seen that. I was like, okay, yeah, but I I, I'm you know and you know I hope that to you know uh, uh with all of these major platforms. You know, that um, if she ever listening or hearing anything about it, you know, that uh, that she knows that, you know, I'm so sorry for doing that. OK, 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 OK. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you at least said that, you know, what I mean, because she might she might have felt like that, though. You got to think about it, though, you know, single parent mother. You know, she with a child or children, I would think at the time, you know, at least with a daughter. I, I don't know how many children she had with her or if her child was with her or what, what not. But and I'm not sure on whether or not if she was either familiar with you or knew you. Yeah, Maybe it was the, I was the nature the, boy. Right, yeah. right. I was on her Beagle platform, so she might have forgot about me, too. OK. Well, she she might have been looking at you like you was an agent and shit for Nature Boy, cause you know, <laughs> you know you fuck with Shaka, so she probably was like, oh no, but hell, she was check, cool with Shaka check though. This check this out. Right after that happened, she went. It, uh, I I'm pretty sure you was covering it at the time. Uh, she went over towards uh Shaka's house. That's when you seen the picture with uh Shaka. Azim and everybody, all uh, okay. uh, yeah, and now me and Shaka, you already know. Right around that time, especially, we was on the phone all the time, just talking. 
So I could kind of tell, like I say, he his his from from his response to the whole PC, he didn't want to get in between any of that because he, you know, it was kind of just like not. Like he got my point on what happened and seeing the situation escalate, but uh, his thing was just kind of just like you know, uh, because I, I could tell he was trying to give her like you know, good words involved uh, with me as far as just telling me, telling her who I was and all that stuff, and and um, not only that. But, uh, I got, you know, the response from, um, from Solar. He, he, I, I think I came to his live stream and addressed it over on his platform as well. Hold on, you got a, you got a, not to cut you off, bro, you got a crazy feedback going on right now. It sound like, it sound like it's snowing in that motherfucker. You hear me? Oh, snap. Um, yeah, it just sound like it's snowing and shit up in that mud. Hey, it got louder and shit. Like some touching or something. I got my blue key on. Yeah, that's what you know. What I think it is. I think it may be dying out or something. Something going on. Cause it. Um, yeah. It, it, I could probably hold up. Let me see. Let me see what you got going on. Yeah, give me give me a moment. Okay. Hey, family, what's good with it? Let me see if we gonna get the headset together, man. Because we got a, hey, is we got got one other thing to address. Well, actually, two things, but this one main thing to address. Can you, can you hear me better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you and shit. I can hear you. Okay, cool, cool. As long as yeah, yeah, yeah. not enough static. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You to the Gucci now. Being that we cleared that thing up, you know about velvet. I got to ask you the question about uh, the woman who I believe and several other people at this point, we all believe that if not just Juju, because we ain't seen Jax in some days, yeah. but nature, the wives could possibly be there as well with the woman that's been dookieing in the damn trash bag and take yeah, it out. I seen that, that video. Yeah, huh. Yo, so I'm going to tell you, I don't know how you came to that conclusion of them all being together because I've never seen a video clip at all of them around each other yet. The, 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 I don't, do you have a receipt on that? Yeah, you ain't never seen a video where they was ever around each other at the same damn time, except for when the, the news, girl. yeah, when the news folk came out there and carrying on, you know, that was the only time. But with what I'm telling you in reference to Jujizzle and why I would think that they would be there too was because of the room that the wives went live in when they was talking and they had the damn Amazon weird ass look like a goddamn uh, endoskeleton of, of a fucking cricket that was on the wall and shit but that bullshit was up there and shit and you know they was talking about 60 and at the time there was some shit faintly, vaguely in the background that could be heard. And people were saying then that it was Nature Boy. But it wasn't Nature Boy. It was somebody else that was talking. But it's the video that the wives was watching. So when Juju went live in the bathroom with the goddamn green light on and shit, when he was in there talking vaguely in the background, you could hear that same voice. So that's why I think that. Mm, okay. Got you. Yeah. Now, now I to. Mean, now, one more, right. one, I, I one more thing. I just never seen. One more thing. Go ahead. Now, and to place Jujizzle uh, at the scene there alongside her after the first four or five videos she uploaded, where you could clearly see. There was various printouts from a computer, photos of Nature Boy. After she caught wind of that, knowing that it's her apartment, she sat in one particular spot. After about 
I don't know, eight or nine days, that's when Juju feel comfortable enough to go live inside her home, I guess, after he smashed her and stuff or whatever. Jack's gone, all that weird shit or whatever. <laughs> Walking around, still, little pictures on the wall and stuff and carrying on. That's the same spot. Mm, okay. See, I, I, you, 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 you the show, Sherlock Holmes to this man. Like I said, your investigation work is impeccable. I'm the God, I'm the God guru. <laughs> the God guru. Yo, so my thing about this, um, I think the main key reasoning why she's doing this is because of her love, love for Juju. You talking about that girl? Exactly. I really but Juju. I really think so. You say because of her love for Ju Jizzle, that's why she doing it. I think so. Yeah, and you know how Juju is. He was like, okay, I'm going to program her with the, all of this, you know, this bull crap with the Nature Boy shit. That's how, that's, that was the only way how he could accept her. That's my, you know, personal opinion on what I think could have happened on how they could have, because I can tell you this much, I knew, and I was talking with her at the time when she was on Bigo, and she was uh, uh -oh. basically going over to Juju's live and dropping beans and shit and supporting. Uh-uh, she was dropping the beans on Juju's? Yes. How many beans and shit she was dropping? I mean, was she dumping on them or she was, was she just supporting them? Dumping, dump, dumping a, uh, a few on him, not not like a lot because I don't even think Juju's a host. Yeah, to be real, yeah, he's not he's not doing nothing with them beans. I think he's just getting on Bigo just to, you know, spread three 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 and bullshit like that. I, but I think I think with a little bit of beans that he was getting and then carrying on and hooting and hollering, I think uh, I think oh boy, branded. Not Brandon, but Branded. That's what I call his name. Keys, ass. right? Yeah. Brandon Keys. Yeah. yeah. Not Brandon, but Branded. Like, you know, when you brand it like a Levi stamp, a brand like a tattoo, Branded. Yeah, Branded. Motherfucking Branded motherfucking ass was paying him through the cash out for them little bit of beans and stuff he had and stuff. Because he wasn't a host. And if you think about it, when Nature Boy was in his family, the amount of money that he made, and then you got to think about Aaron, you know, once that he then was back talking to him, too, there was somewhat of an expectancy with him being able to reach the monthly quota, but he didn't reach it either. Right, 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 right. right. I mean, all I can say is this, Brandon Short, he, he, he knows how to, he knows how to find him for his agency. <laughs> Oh yeah, he be fish. Yo, let me tell you. So let's go back to the story with the girl. So initially, because um, I was coming over into her live stream when she was, you know, uh, her name was Lovely uh, on Bigo, but her, her um, I, I think she's. Spoke. She she told me that her real name was Leah. Leah, right. Okay. But so she, she was friends with somebody that was the the leader that uh, of the family called the three three three. On the Bigo. three three, it was a family called the three 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 on Bigo. <laughs> It's yeah, somebody I, that Brandon recruited. I like I like that better with Lovely just put up in their keys to the sidewalk and shit like straight uh, up. That, straight that's up. A, that's a funny camp keys comment. To the, keys to the scrubs. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, but for real. Check this out. So she I was trying to recruit her to come to Tribe Zulu and stuff right. and you know uh, build and do, you know, uh, drop doing beans and stuff and exchanges and all that stuff. Yeah. But, you know, she, uh, 
ended up, you know, going more close, to, closer to the creator of that family of three, 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 and basically, the guy that put it together, uh, his name is King three, 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 and he said that his that that uh, basically Nature Boy got the three from him. That's what he said. So, 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 let me ask you. So do this. So do do fight like do he know that old girl and shit? Do he know that that she uh proclaiming the kingdom and all that other shit? He know that. You talking about King three three three? Yeah, he know that about old girl that she proclaiming the king. I think he. I think he might have knew. But here's the thing: is she? I I noticed this. She stayed in the family for a minute. This is this is the first time I ever seen her join a family. Like after this was like months later, so she joins that family for probably maybe uh, maybe about two to three months. She let she leaves that family, gets out of the family, and then gets uh, and connected. Well, she was still watching Juju, but she ended up. Uh, taking the three 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 off and then just changing her entire name from uh, lovely three 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 and all that mm. to um, you know goddess you know uh, three 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 and all all that or three goddess three. So what I noticed seeing this is, is she took from having three 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 threes on her name and, and switched it up to one i'm guessing that's what juju and all of them they per, they they profess to only using one three i'm 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 assuming with this whole shit but yeah, yeah she was yeah. trying to tap in on some weird on some crazy shit because the cat uh king three three three, three, three. three was damn near doing like a spin-off version of, of, of carbonation with his family. <clears throat> you know, there was somebody somebody that left that family that was like, man, uh I am she this other person that I know, she said that she was like, I I had to leave the family. Just like I don't I'm not really down with being a part of like no cult type of shit. And it was kind of more they they were more towards that and that was her words and when i seen how he moved and how he operated you know i was kind of like man this, this some something about this shit look kind of cultish and shit you think he hit that book man i don't know but all i can tell you right now is he he said that nature boy got the three from him and it looked like he wanted to do a partnership with Nature Boy if he was to get out. So what's up with these? What's up with these guys? You know these so-called wannabe teachers and stuff. that's into these girls that's wearing these sports bras and stuff. Like I, I don't understand. Like what's 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 going on? Well, like, this is what I know from it. Is the key thing for uh, we're talking about bigo content. A lot of the guys that I see, they're trying to utilize these females uh, just so they can get more views on their um, on their Beagle page and more people to support them. They, they're doing polygamy and poly and all that shit because if more people see that particular guy with more wives, then they're going to assign, you know, like, let's, let's go follow him. He's got women shit so that's the normal little trend that's what you know uh, I think nature boy popularized it on Bigo because I didn't see nobody else doing uh, doing that on Bigo besides him now we see uh, you know um, I mean I see visa he's he's poly and then who else uh, you got TKO Capone and a few others, but I think that they were all wanting to be, you know, like Nature Boy, but nobody could get to that level. Nobody could get to that. That like I think Nature Boy was the epitome 
60 was the epitome of some bullshit. That was the <laughs> he was some bullshit. From goddamn Polygod, you know, uh, oh. Wavy oh. P, all of them. They wanted to, they wish they had that success that oh. Nature Boy oh. had. Yeah. You know, Wavy. Damn success. Gave me a whole lot of zing, too. He a zing. That nigga tried to pull his pants down on my damn show. That nigga a zing, yo. He a zing. Wait, you're talking about, you're talking about Pharaoh, right? Young Pharaoh? I'm about Gay VP. Gay Ro did, too. But he done been Wait. on Gay channel. Gay VP. Gay VP came up on my channel and he pulled did? his pants down and showed his butt. Yeah, he tried, he tried to show his butt and stuff. Damn, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, he a zing. Yeah, he a uh, host, uh, tried to get my channel fucked up and everything, man. He did some real ziggly pop ass motherfucking shit. Like, yeah. Man, you, and, got, and, you got all the haters uh trying to get on your panel and trying to trying to show show their body parts and all the zings. Damn. Crazy zings. Yeah, they'll sit back, man. They be fun. They be for like number one. They be bucking membership to the brand, but they be fanatics of the damn show. You feel? They sit back and watch this shit and then feel some kind of way about the shit. I'm just like, man, just come on through. Just come through and talk about the shit. Yeah. And see, and see when, 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 uh, when Gay VP came up, he came off the screen. You know what I'm saying? To support nature, but see, Kulu had been fucking his ass up. <laughs> yeah, he, he had been he had been fucking his ass up. You feel me? And, right. and, 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 and get back on that clown, yeah, because he that's exactly what the fuck that he is. He a nigga that want to be nature boy. He been doing that fake ass shit with the Robert Smash Pass roast nigga. Them niggas started out doing that weird shit on the internet, man. Yo, I can Scratch. tell you right now. After that trial, after the trial was over, um. I started seeing him popping up on on Beagle afterwards, and it looked like he just done blew up. Yeah, won't 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 want to be nature boy, man. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and gave no, gave, you know it. gave and that's what I'm saying, man. It's kind of just deep how you got a lot of these um these folks out here trying to copy something that died. Now they try they much. trying to eat up nature boy. They trying to eat up nature boy. That's all that is. Want to want to be sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm I, I don't have nothing against nobody that wants to be poly and all that stuff, but it's what you're doing with the the movement or in the group. Like for example, um, um, I'm only gonna make this reference once. When I talk with Shaka about the whole circumstance with carbonation he thought he liked the idea of what carbonation did but he said that the key issue is he, he did not like the leader he liked the movement of what the idea was it was supposed to be about going back to nature and doing uh you know eating in the tropics and stuff but you got to have the right leader you know and I, I I truly think, you know, with having, you know, the right individual, of course, you know, somebody that's not going to try to take advantage, you know, trying to, you know, pimp folks out, out of their money, you know, so it's fucked up. Yeah, but why, why, why would a motherfucker need a leader to get a cheap ass ticket to go to Mexico? I mean... From what I, I know, it's super cheap in Mexico. So I've I've always been hearing that people wanting to no no no, no to listen. Mexico why and why why why, did, why why would somebody need a leader just to go do that? You know how women are, man. They got it. They 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 they, they see that shit and they're like, man, I need to get with that guy. <laughs> oh, we were just we were just, we were just talking about the men though. The men is trying to be nature boy. See, it was oh, me. Oh, the men now. The too. men, I think they they're they're more so into, you know, uh, uh, wanting to get, get the views like that and money. Like I say, they see Nature Boy uh, trying to you know live uh, like a god and stuff, and you know, 
you got and this is also what I wanted to talk to you about. Let's talk talk about the production of carbonation. Car carbonation production team. And do you think um I know this is all off topic right now, so I'm sorry if it, it you know if we we can go back to it to the other conversation uh, uh, on speaking what, what what we were talking about, but I wanted to dive into that as well. If you're, if you're comfortable with it. Go right ahead. Okay. When we, we look at the, the song Shining Bright, do you think, we know for a fact what the judge said, uh, Stacey Hydrick, she said that, that uh, this, <laughs> The, the sixty ain't getting no uh no benefits and, and no uh no sales and shit. Mm -hmm. But okay, on uh, um Apple Music or Spotify or what are any of them platforms that all that that's the carbonation music that they have. Where's that money going to? You know, for for, for shining bright. For uh, you know, songs like um, like the the the, the uh, with Musa, you know, in the tent, like, and then that ain't, that ain't that ain't no money, bro. That ain't in heavy rotation. That's not on the depth of the scale. A little baby, you know, that ain't even on a Nardo Wick level. That that's nothing. We're talking about music, groundbreaking music that people dance to, enjoy ride around in a car, smoke too and all that stuff, go body five or six motherfuckers and shit, you feel? Go go trap out a whole motherfucking gram to a whole brick like that type of music. They wasn't making music like that. Nobody ain't nobody ain't going to no goddamn Apple to search none of that stupid ass shit. And I hope they get you even said that dumb ass shit. But yeah, man, ain't nobody looking for that shit, man. They ain't making no money. Well, this <laughs> is no thing. I'm pretty sure you heard something about Carbonation changing their name again to Imagination. Yeah, that's why I do, do be imagining Nature Boy still rubbing on their butt cheeks. I'm I mean, it's the same. You, yeah. I'm going to tell you my personal opinion on why I think they, they changed that name. I think as a production, that name, they knew if they changed their name legally or whatever, that so people like Solar or people that, you know, that left the group, you know, that are ex-members or whatever, they could probably get some type of profits, you know, concerning, you know, with anything that was left over. So, so in a sense, if we change the group from Carbonation to Imagination, you know, it's an entirely different group. Yeah, but it's nothing to get from that because they didn't make any money and don't have any money. If they if they if they had some money, you figure dear me, his wives wouldn't have started that motherfucking weird ass GoFundMe and shit. You feel me? They ain't got no bread. Like they fucked up. Like Nature Boy was never a money maker. The money only came once he got on the Bego app. That's it. That was the most money he had ever damn made as quick as what he did while just being on there making up shit every damn day. Mm. Just making shit. Yeah, just doing a whole bunch of bullshit. But yeah, that ain't that ain't shit. I mean, ain't, ain't none of that shit shit. It, I can see it'd be different if, you know, if Nature Boy um, was P. Diddy or Sean Carter or somebody, you know, of that status, but he don't even come close to Keenan and Kale. Now, wasn't they supposed to do a story, uh, like a documentary on, on carbonation? That motherfucker ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. Just like what you said was Judge Stacy Hydrick stated, she specified that, that he Doesn't is to make no royalty nothing. off of it. He don't make no money off any documentaries, books, cassettes, interviews, or the like. So that just well, What about the other member? You don't think they, they still would get it? Get what? What is it to get? What is it to get? You know what I'm saying? What 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 do you think is what what is it to get? The Bluetooth speaker? <laughs> what, what you gonna get? What you gonna get? 
Mm. You go get the Bluetooth speaker. That's what you want. You want the Bluetooth speaker? You think <laughs> you gotta be some shit that's worth it? The Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> What, 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 what you gonna get from carbonation? Who in the chat think that carbonation got some bread? Yo, Who? Uh, yo, I was about to check. I was about to say. I, I bet. I, uh, you. I'm. I'm pretty sure BP would want to get something. Man, man, BP, motherfucker, man, man, BP, we want to get whatever the hell we can damn get. Yeah. I remember what you said about BP too. Man, 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 look at him, man. Yeah, BP ain't getting none of that, man. It's 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 a fucking BP. I think they probably paid him for that interview and shit with the news people and stuff. That was probably it. But mm. yeah, BP did like good refill though, man. That's why I say like anybody that was ever connected to sixty, man. It's like they. That that they ain't never get on. Like they they ain't never do it big. Like they never did their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they have like like what I showed you last time. Mm -hmm. Look at look at my Yeah, yeah. The deep the, uh, the deep. Right yeah. Oh, that, that ain't nothing but growth. That yeah. growth. I, I ain't seen now one of them grow yet. I ain't seen grow yeah bro like yeah to from there from there bro, bro I, could, I could put my feet right here bro like that it's, it's nothing it's on the floor it's on the floor now is that true how many boards you got now two of them two okay yeah but i'm just saying though that's 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 where we at with this shit though i mean like they they don't even have a vehicle they only have their own spot. It's it's full women that don't even have their own home. They just coexist. They now that's what I was gonna ask you, man. Where do you uh, so, so, you think so that if, if there was something to get, why wouldn't this why wouldn't those women have their own home? Right. Yeah, that's I mean, of course. Like I said, that's that's the uh that's the question, you know, you know why, why, like, like, okay, take some of that money, as you were saying, and, uh, you know, put that towards uh, Boy Twan, you know, paying him off, trying to get, uh, uh, you know, because they, they were basically just staying there for free down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah, man. But, but overall, man, I'm I'm seeing just the uh, circumstances with her. Uh, so, so you speculating that? Uh, well, you're saying that her, Jax, Juju, and it's the th the the four wives. They're all together. That's deep. Yeah. Now, and and, and the, reason, the reason why I say, you know, what I'm saying in reference to that, it ain't even a speculation. Right. You know, I'm, I'm I'm telling you that. And the reason I'm telling you that, because every time I try to tell Nature Boy motherfucking ass something, he ain't got them listening. You've seen what happened. You feel me? every time and i'm telling you like that's what's going on so i noticed there was a time period when Jax was with uh mama avir and that's what they were doing they was laying out there laid up sleeping a tent and shit yeah they, yeah. they were doing, yeah they were doing the same shit so jack ain't there no more and that's why i think the shorty's them there you know? so let me let, yeah. let me go into that theory uh, she's not on Bigo no more because I'm, no I'm, you know her po her post and all that. She she's not really doing anything for money as she claimed in her last uh, live stream. But she was making a little bag on Bigo. I'm, I'll be real with you. She she uh she was pulling in a lot of lot of cash because she was kind of like. 
like a beagle thought, you know, uh, having a, a lot of people, you know, attract to her, her beauty and shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Now, now you said that uh, she was a beagle thought. Damn. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I wouldn't have never expected her to do, to join fucking uh, imagination or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. <laughs> because, like, if somebody, let me, if you're a bigo thought damn there, and you making all your money and shit, why would I want to give all of that money and stuff up and that lifestyle for, you know, to carbonation? Now, I don't even think she's making shit. I mean, may, maybe she's getting a check. Like, get, and, but I didn't check, know. Getting a check. I mean, I, I think I think wherever the spot that she's staying at, she got that spot and she's staying there because of her children. The same children yeah. that no longer and, have. Let me and say this what, to that. Is I didn't know anything about her having children yeah. and shit. So you got to bring me up on game when it comes to that. That's what was dropped in the comments. There was a woman in her comments. You know, I have yet to even, you know, look at that, you know, because I'm going to have to analyze who that person was by way of the comments. But uh, Goddess, she said that, you know, the lady was getting at her kind of tough, you know, almost to the point, you know, like that she knew her personally. So there was like a Vigo connection, you know, within all of that. And uh, she kept going back and forth with the woman, you know, as opposed to, you know, just simply blocking the person like they were, you know, trolling her or whatever. Like, yeah, she was affected by the stuff that they were saying in the comments. I can see that she blocked me today <laughs> and I didn't I barely said shit. I barely even said anything. Damn, that was great. That's why I say, man, she, she blocked the shit up out your ass. Too Yo, cool. let me tell you. <laughs> Damn. She, uh, I just was like, let me, let me, let me come up. Let, let, let's, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try to see if we can build on some knowledge. I wanted to really, because I, I, I can pick that carbonation shit apart if I wanted to. You know. So, 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 let me ask you, how, how, how you felt? Because I did see that in the comments that Juju told her to block you. Said, I didn't see that. Yeah. You got the, do you got the screenshot to that? Yeah, he said block. Send me that shit. Send me that shit. Say block that dude. Uh, uh, Juju. Like, Yo, that? and that's what I'm saying. Juju, Juju de de despises me uh, for, you know, he don't want me to have no connection with her. So that's what happened. That's that's probably that's exactly what happened. You wanna you wanna you wanna flu? <laughs> you messed up for that question. I'm just no, man. you say she you say she look good and stuff. You know what I mean? She be wrapped up when I see her stuff. She be a bit thing on her head. No, no, no. I can sh I can show you pictures before that. Oh yeah. Like when we yes. get the, when we get done with this live stream, I'll show you some picture of her. With, uh, before all of that, she didn't. Look, I mean, she 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 looks different. I mean, she's not dressed up as no goddamn Muslim and shit. You know what they trying to trying to trying to emulate off that shit. But yeah, but what I'm saying is, did she look healthier then as opposed to now? Yeah, now she was uh from from my pers uh, if I'm not mistaken, she was vegan before. Joining them, she she was vegan. Yes, sir. She was kind. Of, she was pretty much damn near vegan, and um, she would go. She would, you know, she would go out, work out on Bigo. She would, um, you know, you know, we. I would come up on the stream every now and again, talking with her about, and I and I told her my affiliation with nature boy and all of that stuff we talked all about that because i was like okay i i you know as, as i let people know how i came to bego was through a goddamn coat leader <laughs> and shit but 
I would have never thought in my mind after, uh, uh, you know, me giving my perspective on telling her, you know, the circumstance and that she was, sh sh that she would still even be communicating and trying to, you know, go over to Juju's live and support. Hey, you know what, though? That's, hey, I, that is crazy. Because you say that her name, like, Leah. 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 Okay, Leah. So do you not remember the girl named Leah that was connected to the Pastor P that went up, that uh, Nature Boy picked up and took her to the mall and shit? Wasn't that that girl named Leah? See, I don't remember that. You don't remember that girl? That, that, no, uh, no. That, I mean, I wasn't following that because I, I didn't really really i didn't really care for pastor p and stuff on Vigo. like i've i've seen the stuff i i know that nature that him and uh and p basically had their little foul out because of lex the god and i seen you know he was really pissed off because of that money and shit. oh he was mad about the money because that stuff with leg because yeah. remember when nature was and that shit when he was talking about leg and he was like hey, yo lex i'm just saying lex and then he did that live talking about well, I don't really care where you go and all this shit or whatever because she would gift the pastor and not uh, nature boy. Yeah, yeah. But he, I want to, um, let me go into the story with Lex real fast since we kind of yeah. talking about that. Let's get into Lex, yo. Lex the guy. Yo. Um, <laughs> I had, so at the time when I made my transition after I, I uh, did the first interview with you and shit, and, and she was it, she was coming inside my live stream, her and this other person, uh, basically, like, uh, judging me because I left Nature Boy, and she was like, man, they, you know, Nature Boy was, um, you know, he he really uh, he really did something for you and all of the stuff like you know like like I basically sailed him out and shit and like I and I got that from a lot of people on Bigo as well. You know that I you know I basically uh, you know betrayed him and shit. But she came to my stream. Um, under like a, a fake name and shit and was like you know saying all, all this shit and then she later on told me like nah this is Lex the God and she was like, hey. I'm like Look, what the fuck are you doing over here did she did she did, 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 did she uh, gift you up under the fake account hell no hell no <laughs> that, that, that account had zero sins <laughs> Like literally, that, that account has zero fucking sins on that shit. I I look at all them pages, but yeah, yeah. She uh, she felt that she was so. It's so funny looking back at that story with Lex the God. Now she we now she unblocked me and she was um she was she's back cool with me after her falling out with Nature Boy or whatever because of that Pastor P shit. You gotta, you gotta tell Lex to come through, man. Tell Lex to come through, man. Lex, Lex, good money, man. Lex, good money. Tell, see if you can plug us in. Plug us in with Lex, Fluke. I'm gonna, I message her on Vigo. I see what I could, uh, what Lex. I could do. I, Lex. I, I, I just know, like I said, I don't really talk with her, but I tell you, um, I tell you who I. I also been speaking. Uh, well, I've been kind of uh, chilling, you know, vibing with in their live stream. Seeing, uh, you remember um, back in the day, um, Egypt, the god, or I think that was her name at the time, Egypt, the god. But her name is Egypt. I don't remember Egypt. Okay, well, Egypt. She's still on Beagle. She uh she, she she's one of the the admins. 
So yeah. if you ever hear Egypt, the, uh, the name Egypt come up, that's one of the admins on Bego or Instagram. I think mainly on Bego, though. I don't see her on Instagram. But yeah, Egypt. But I be coming inside her room every now and again. She, uh, you know, just, I, I, I know who she should, uh, like, like, just from my analysis, who who she's she's in in support of when it comes down to that. But you know, man, people you know they're entitled to their own beliefs and all that shit. I don't really be caring, you know, people that want to still be affiliated with uh, carbonation. I I because my thing is this, man. We all met for a reason. You know, like I had, like I met you through this whole piece, and I think it was a good experience. You know, uh, 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 to being able to uh, plug in because I mean, I was already watching you, and I was already watching a lot of these other people and stuff, as I, I as I told you before. But I, I I don't neglect having any of these experiences. You know. Uh, uh, over meeting people like you, Fundi, all these people, because the, the lessons to be learned through the situations, you know, kind of, uh, you know, showed some type of growth for me. That's what's you up. Know? That's what's up. That's what's up. Hopefully, you know, motherfuckers that at one time that was support nature, boy. You know, they they get to a comfortable level of recognizable fucking growth too, because motherfuckers gotta grow up out there ignorant shit. And that's all the fuck he was doing was a bunch of ignorant shit any goddamn way. But hell, I gotta ask you too about that situation with old girl though. And uh, you know, Jew Jizzle. Now what you were saying, what you could explain to people about uh carbonation, what's one thing that you see? You know, with that whole situation with her and him, as far as the difference, because his tone done changed up now. With Nature Boy? Uh uh, his tone done changed up. He ain't the same Jujizzle no more. Oh, Juju. What do you yeah. mean he's not the same, like, after he cut his, his locks? I, I but I think what, I, what I mean is he done got some cootie. I mean that's speculation. We we, we 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 don't we don't see the uh the fucking co the uh the condoms. <laughs> how how do you again? How do you? I'm 29. I'm not saying that that's possible. I, what, what, I'm not what, saying what, it's possible what, to happen, but yeah. What, I mean, what what's my age? Hmm? I'm sorry. What's my age? Your age, sir. Your. your uh, four was it forty six? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm. Got you. I'm telling. I mean, it is possible. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not neg neg negating it or neglecting it. But yeah, yeah, I think. Um, See, I was lit. Look, look, I was on this earth seventeen years before you even thought about coming here. I was already here. <laughs> you know how much shit I learned during that time. Uh, I used to break down bicycles, man, to put them shits back together. That was my whole purpose of getting them was to take them apart. I just wanted to see, you know, the whole mechanics within the whole shit. You know, the bike, the chain, all that shit. You I just want, I just wanted to see what was going on. I ain't get all technical and know the goddamn names, all of the bullshit. You feel me? But I just, you know, I just wanted to see the workings within it or whatever. After learning that, boom, I moved the fuck on. It's people within this carbonation shit. It seemed like they stuck in this shit. Like they, just like how you was asking the question about that weird shit about, uh, about the, the damn music and, and like it's supposed to be some money and shit or whatever. If the motherfuckers had money, they wouldn't even be over her dumb ass house. They wouldn't be over there. Right, right. Juju weird ass wouldn't be over there. Mm hmm. Think about it. Yeah. Why? 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 Juju Jizzle ain't got his own shit at his age. Why he ain't got no car? What's 
what's going on? Like, no, seriously, like, what, what's going on? Like, why, why he ain't on his shit? Because he fucked up behind carbonation. Whether you want to call that shit imagination or fake a nation or whatever fucking nation, man, it's still branded. Like, branded keys, that shit branded from Nature Boy weird ass. That's where this shit come from. That's why a motherfucker like Nature Boy deserved to get a goddamn life sentence <laughs> with no chance of parole, okay? With 10 years on the back end of that thing. And here's the thing about it. I want to speak a little bit about the charges too, man, is in my honest opinion, I thought that, that he was going to probably get maybe uh, I would say maybe about Maybe about 40 years or at minimum. But but the way how he was cutting up, laughing, and, you know, doing all that unnecessary shit at the courtroom, I think, you know, Stacey Hydrich, she was just like, she seen there was no type of growth. She was like, you are a narcissist. You are a cult leader. Your, your, your ass is, is, uh, is, is basically getting life. Without no parole. Yeah. And what she said in so many words was being that he didn't express like any compassion. Uh he didn't at all, you know, feel, you know, moved by the statements that, you know, that they made when they were, you know, testifying, you know, they was, you know, speaking out against him or whatever. Yeah. Uh to him, it was lackluster. Uh he ignored uh, what they were saying to him. And he was basically talking, you know, to the jailers. That's who he was talking to. He was acting out, pointing at the screen, all type of weird shit. So that's why he got that life sentence. And think about it still, too. He never testified. He had the opportunity. Yo, let me tell, tell you this, man. If he would, I thought Nature Boy was going to give us a show, gone. man. I like, damn, man, like, I thought he was going to go into, like, one of his characters, but that mm -hmm. character that he went into, man, because Nature Boy is a good fucking actor, and I was like, man, I thought he was going to go 99% all the way into a character or some shit and give us a, a, a good laugh or some shit, but he didn't even testify, you know, and try to, <laughs> like, on his, like, my mercy on the court or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> Like he, I, I was surprised he just, that he, he, he didn't, he didn't really. He just wanted to see Velvet. He just wanted to see Velvet. Mm. He wanted to see, and that's what put the nail in the coffin. And after that, that's when he started acting strange. He was acting strange at the Velvet. Yeah, he was acting strange then. When they, after that video was shown, he knew he would hit. It wasn't nothing else to talk about. Right, right. And you said, I remember you were saying that they was going to try to make a run for it, man. That was deep. Yeah. For was sure. there. Yeah. I've seen it. And like I say, a day before it was even stated, you feel me? I already knew what it was. Like, I, I knew what it was. I knew that he would be found guilty. I knew it. Let me ask you this. this. Do you think if you was not there at that time, that he he would have probably made it made made a run for it and and tried to uh run out of that courtroom with Jackson nah. Jr. if nah. he wasn't there. Well, yeah, yeah, and the reason why that I say that because if I wouldn't have had already told him that, then they wouldn't have been ready already for it. Mm-hmm. So that's why they was, and if anybody went, they seen how many officers it was then that was at the exit door. Like, I mean, it was, they was probably like six to eight officers left there. Right. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, you came at the, at, at, I, because initially I didn't think you was going to the trial. I was like, man, he, he, he into his own thing, man. He not. <laughs> really that focused on it but then you can't you showed up there man i was like oh snap man shit, man you know i was gonna see that i had to see that i i, I was just gonna see if he was gonna look at my eyes he could he couldn't even do that he couldn't do it for
that nigga was just sitting there. He wouldn't even turn around. <laughs> he couldn't even turn around. Yeah, he was. He, he, he you said that he looked kind of shooken, like he was. He he was kind of scared. Yeah, I think I think he was nervous at the fact because I'm gonna say aside from anybody who could have had a sheer interest with Nature Boy and Carbonation, he knew that I definitely was going to be one of the people that had the information that could have sealed the deal. I didn't even have to do anything else. I didn't have to provide any information. It was already done. It was already done. Yeah, I, I was just, waiting for you to get, take the stands, man. I was like, okay, he over there, man. I was like, he, he about to... <laughs> <laughs> You're about to take the stairs, tell he was gonna get up there and be like the sex cult leader. <laughs> like I've been reporting. I thought you was gonna do it too, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and if any time if if Booker would have interjected, I would have annihilated his ass, but <laughs> the part that the part that you and other people may not have been paying attention to is with me being there and disrupting hours as I did, that was why Jackson Juju didn't get enough time to be able to speak and testify on the behalf of Nature Boy because they was outside too busy worried about me. That's how very fault as long as when she got to talk. Got you. See, Juju and Jax could have talked for an hour too. Right. They could have. Right. See, Bri Brianna didn't talk nowhere close to that amount of time. And that's, like I say, I did what I was supposed to do. And I told him before I even went what I was going to do. But what gets me too, man, is none of them showed up on the last day. Hey, let me tell you this. I think they knew. I think they knew, bro. And like I say, you know, I, I, I peeped it. That's why I went and told Goddess, I was like, we can let it go. We can go ahead and then dip. She was like, you don't want to go tomorrow? I was like, no, nah, I ain't even no need to. I was like, it's over with. <clears throat> it's over. And it's like, if you, man, I'm telling you, yo, if you would have just. It was that you video of what you seen of, uh, what the Velvet? Yeah, it was definitely that video, but if you would have been there, if you would have seen, like, you know, the jurors and literally, like, what their reaction was, the entirety, like, of the fucking, the damn trial, man, all them motherfuckers looked like they were struggling to get them stay awoke, everybody. They were so ready to get through with that shit. It was just, like, so much bullshit that didn't make sense. Like, nobody died. <laughs> there wasn't a... Uh, 10 or 15 bricks involved. Uh, right. There wasn't a high speed chase. Uh, there were no signs of uh, aggravated abuse and, you know, carnage uh, within the home. CSI didn't have to be called. That shit was boring as fuck. They was like, man, we don't know nothing about none of this shit. We don't know y'all weird motherfuckers. We ain't even trying to memorize all y'all fucking name. <laughs> he was like, fuck this shit. From what they heard, let me tell you, from what they heard from Brianna, Brianna Jacobs and Brianna alone, they was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely just going to say guilty. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. They was like, and it's like when, when once that velvet went up there and when she was speaking, man, they were locked in then. Exactly. She wasn't, she wasn't playing no games with the ass. She was quick to. I know. I know. She has every every freaking right, you know, with that whole circumstance. With uh, they're gonna tell on solo too. I, I I didn't I didn't see that. All this stuff, all this stuff about lawyer gonna come out. Wait, it's like when they, uh -huh, all this stuff about lawyer gonna come out. All this stuff gonna, gonna come out. I just I just feel like I just I just feel like. I just feel like she's going to get to that point, man. And and, and and I think, you know, being as solo, he, he motherfucking, yeah, he done been down there in Homestead, Florida and shit. They done been out there having a mushroom party and shit. They been out there sniffing mushrooms. Got that all kind of weird ass shit through their ear and every fucking thing, right? He ain't, he ain't shot Velvet no money. 
Well, I'm telling you, boy, Velvet Vel Vel might turn up on his ass. Yo, she let might me say something yeah. about Solar real fast. Check this out. And I know, I know you're not really a big fan of him. Um, I'm not going to, you know, uh, bring up that, that channel holder's name. Um, but the previous interview that I seen that Solar did, uh, I actually thought to me, you know, just my perspective of seeing it, that he was, you know, laying it down, you know, as far as just everything that he, he said at that moment. You know how Solar can be when, you know, he, he sometimes like all over, you know, talking about, you know, astrology and all that stuff or, you know, just throwing a lot of different things. But I felt like that this mm. particular interview that he did, that he laid it down and, you know, t explaining in all details when it came down to uh, what they were doing off the of camera, what Nature Boy, where, how he got into the idea of the three and all of that. Did you listen uh, to, did you listen to the part in this interview where he was explaining I did. I did. About so like you just basically telling me about it because me, my subscribers, the people that follow me, we don't give a fuck what he said because we know he lying any motherfucking one. We know okay. that. We don't check fuck this with out. So it was a particular uh, moment in the interview because he was saying that Nate that he was explaining that you know, the, the, they were looking up these demonic energies and shit, and he, and, and he was looking at this book. And one of the... Uh, he done told that story, man, a yeah. hundred guys found that weird-ass shit, but no, man, one, don't know about it. One of the, one of, but here's let the thing, me, is, one of yes, the spirits is called me, e Ego, or... Um, we, we, listen, brother, listen, brother. Go ahead. We ain't even into that we're not gonna get into that because it's it's incoherent and it has nothing to do uh with my indigenous ancestral heritage bro it, it don't have shit to do with that like i don't i don't deal with no false gods i don't deal with spookism uh, and i definitely don't deal with egyptians or fake egyptologists at all i don't do you find it to be fake I don't deal with none of them yes i do i find it all to be mm. i find it uh to be shaitan centric uh, I find it only to be of interest of men who don't know themselves. That's what I think. Anything. Because I, I, I was trying to hold make on. a correlation towards, like. Let, let, me, let me explain okay. to you, brother. Anything yeah. that's romanistically influenced that would impact your life, knowing that you was born in this country, is not of and for you. None of those things. None of those things. None of them. Those, 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 those things were only carried out throughout a plan by a psyop like Nature Boy. Well, that, that's, that's what I'm saying is where I was going with the story was in the fact of Nature Boy, me and you know already that Nature Boy is a really good actor. And from the stories that he hears or, you know, from all of the people that he tried to emulate from, uh, you know, Baba G, um, you know, Tahuti, all of that stuff. He was trying to embody himself as these deities. And what I was yeah, saying just like, was... Just like, just like he made an attempt to embody himself as Christ. That bullshit, that solo weird ass talking about... He want a motherfucker to think and believe that he's supposed to be the person that brought forth the damn three God. His man, look at here, man. Anything, like I told you before, that did with Baba G, with androgynism, any of that stuff right there is not of us. It's not of the tribe. It's not of the way. We never danced that way before. Right. Ever. Right. Okay. That was incorporated by men on social media that wanted to indoctrinate people into believing that that was an appropriate way of living. That don't have nothing to do with a relationship with so damn ever. That's some stuff 
that they fabricated only to younger people is interesting to them to be able to do that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just putting a title on it and saying that you just want to have, you know, sex with multiple partners. That's all that it is. And that is a practice. And that is a way that is a mentality of the Eastern Indians. That's what they did. That's why Krishna, Kali, Shiva, all of them are, in fact, spiritual properties and faculties associated with Baba G. That's what they are. No, those are those are energies, right? So with 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 dude going on anybody's show and talking about that shit, that just show you this motherfucker got a life sentence with no chance of parole, ten years on the back end, and he's still stuck on nature boy in carbonation. That's his whole life, like that. Mm-hmm. He can't think no further than that. So for anybody that ever interviewed him or had him on his show it's a damn shame how when he go live it don't be no more than them fucking 10 or 15 people listen to him that's 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 fucked up you got old motherfucker got over fourteen thousand followers on this app and this app alone but no one wants to hear what the fuck he's talking about because there's no relevancy he's not a teacher an educator a scholar or any of those things. If anything, he will be Googling videos of on how to proper and better conduct his motherfucking self as opposed to running around dressed in white with a black t-shirt around a bunch of people uh, out in the damn woods playing like they having a concert that his ass still ain't showed no performance of him being there performing. He still ain't show that because I don't even think the dude fucking showed up to tell you the damn truth. Why would he? Right. How would it? I mean, you bring up a, a valid point. That's what I'm saying. See, he's a he's one of those people. Like I, I, I gave a I gave an analogy, you know, on my reason, you know, for showing and proving to you. But I gave an analogy, and I was showing that within the first, you know, Transformers, the cartoon when it first came out, that Starscream was the dude that played Megatron the closest. And the whole time, you know, he used to say a whole bunch of shit up on his breath about Megatron. But to Megatron Faith, he wasn't talking shit. But to everybody else, he used to talk shit about, you know what I'm saying? He used to talk shit about Megatron. So he had everybody else thinking that nature, you know what I'm saying, that Megatron, you know what I'm saying, he was some bullshit, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You feel me? So then when him and Megatron fell out, the other members, not only seeing, you know what I'm saying, that Megatron got fucked up behind all of this shit. He was floating out in space with one eye open and shit. But they also seen in character how much of a piece of shit that he was because he was only a nine millimeter. Starscream was an Air Force One fighter jet. Mm-hmm. Other, more land and more ground, he seemed further and could fly higher Megatron couldn't do shit unless somebody held him like shockwave and shot the and pulled the trigger. He, right. He was a nobody. So the solar nigga was the star screen nigga the whole time. He was playing star screen. He was sitting back hating on nature boy the whole damn time. That's why with his attempts to be nature boy after nature boy being locked up, he he didn't do any numbers with that because number one he's not he's not interesting he's not entertaining and he definitely couldn't hold a crowd of people for that long right it takes uh like i said i I, and that's what i'm saying when it comes down to this live streaming thing uh nature boy developed a, a following years back you know from facebook and you know, IG, all of these different platforms. And I thought it was kind of interesting how he, you know, was able to, you know, have these crowds of people going wherever he was going, you know, whether if he was on Bego, whether if he was going back on Facebook or whatever, you know, it was like, you know, so, but yeah, that's one thing that, you know, it takes time and, you know, solo solar still has to put in that work, which you know, me and you already know, you know how, how that that is. 
it, 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 it ain't gonna happen, man. And you know, like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna close out on this one because I'm gonna ask you um I'm gonna ask you this last question, man, just to close out on this one, man, with carbonation, nature boy, mm -hmm. Jude, old girl, Dax, and the whole nine. What you think gonna happen next? Okay, okay, um, real fast when we close out on that question, I wanted to also respond to your previous question with uh um the girl but um i'm gonna respond to the first question that you just dropped now uh so i think in my honest opinion man uh the more, more i i think they're all destined to go you know to to jail man like i i really see like they they're they're they're, they're they will take a bullet for this man you know and that is a sad fact and i'm i'm now with this girl i don't know yet I, i'm still kind of just hoping you know that she gets snaps out of the shit and you know wakes the fuck up but i will say this uh answering your last question about the girl um of them smashing um, um, me personally, I think that Juju is going to continue to use this girl for the message of carbonation or whatever. I don't think he, that he's really into that girl like that. That's just my personal opinion. I, I think agree. I, well, this is what I'm saying. I think that he's going to try to use that girl in a sense like to get what he wants not saying that he could get some sexual pleasures but i mainly think that he will pass that girl to nature boy if he if he wanted to like without no a, a, a shadow of a doubt he he will give that girl up to nature boy well he gonna well, nature boy gonna have to hit it through the phone then because <laughs> he got the right senate <laughs> he got to smash through the phone he got to get through there yeah, right and i think that you know overall it's like i think that he 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 figured out a way on how to manipulate that girl because that girl was a beagle fucking thought man like she was she was getting ton of guys coming to her page you know dropping her beans so you know for her, her to fall victim to this i was like this threw me off a, a loop now i can understand you know, um, I guess in a lot of the females' minds nowadays, they I guess I guess Juju's a pretty boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 assuming they 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 attract to his energy. Like I say, he got he he, he at I mean at the time he had the locks, he had the, the light yeah. skin. Bro. You know, I, he, I guess they attracted to that energy. Yeah. It's broke energy, man. It's broke energy, man. Juju ain't doing that, man. Juju ain't even in the whip. Juju fucked up, man. Yeah, you know that's hey, that's as crazy as it is, but that's what the fuck it is, man. That uh, he, man, she she fell victim to that shit, and uh, um, you know, but I think that you know he 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 he's gonna continue to tell that girl what to do, you know, and like i say just to get like go live at this time i need you to post up these flyers i need you to put this on the page you know all for their their, their little production on trying to get nature boy out but i would think that he 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 loved that he loved nature boy more than um than he loved that girl you know i I, 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 he he will sacrifice that 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 nature boy, or that girl, girl over over the uh, carbonation. He will sacrifice her without a doubt. And it's a sad, uh, you know, seeing that girl, you know, going through that, that shit. Of um, she's so convinced that this is the this is the right path. Like, how can you join a movement that is damn near dead with the leader in jail that 
it don't make no goddamn sense. Imagination. They 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 imagining that nature boy there. They imagining you know that you know that 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 chief is still you know that he's still you know propagating the message and stuff. You know that's why you know he told you to keep the college. You know what I'm saying? You no matter you what you do, <laughs> just 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 keep the knowledge. Up.